I have got on the ones and twos, Becky today, she's controlling me, she is the organ grinder to my monkey, be an organ grinder. And there he is, the man himself, the one, the big D, the director boss. Of course, it's Brucey. There he goes, also known as uh, Cat Lover, Cat King Bruce. Uh, we have got Emma on uh, the cameras, camera girl Emma. And behind me, I am joined by Nucy, who should be on the stage. Nucy, she's not living, I've just given Nucy a lecture on not living her full potential and she ran away from me. Uh, but of course, very, very importantly to both you and I, joining us today and taking us through our masterclass, please welcome the one, the only, the expert jewellery designer, it is Gemma Crow, everybody. <laughs> Woo! GC, GC. You were supposed to chant the GC with me. Oh, GC. Uh, uh, Gemma, you are the GC here at Jewellery yeah, Maker. Uh, you just don't need the money, babe. <laughs> <laughs> don't need the strands, babe. I just don't need the strands, babe. Uh, the GC, <laughs> but not that kind of GC. You're not no, bratty, no, are you? No, no. Well, I don't. I don't think so. No, if you were on the jungle, you'd eat those things. You'd get on with it. You'd make your money and you'd go home. Within reason. <laughs> <laughs> We've discussed Within this before. Reason, yeah. Gemma said she wouldn't eat anything that pops. Now, talking oh, no. of popping, come <laughs> shopping with us because it rhymes. Uh, did I want to admit that? Oh, yeah, good. it was quick. It was quick, that was. <laughs> they call me the lyrical master. And that is why. <laughs> they don't. They don't. Uh, there's, uh, there's a couple of ways you can come shopping with us, in fact, to, to here today. First of all, to pay, it's debit card, credit card or PayPal. Three ways to get involved. It's on the phone, 0800 644 655. if you're doing it online. But Emma, Emma, camera girl, Emma, there's the third way to shop. Hit me with it. You can download that app on your phone and tablet. You can download our app on your smartphone or tablet. It is free to do so. Something just... Oh. Where did that come from? Oh, something, my Demantoid garnet has gone Demantoid on me. Uh, I always think it sounds like a Dementor, doesn't yeah. it? It's all right, Emma's on the floor. Thank you. We have got a very, very, very special 12 o'clock mega deal. We'll be catching up with the GC momentarily. You wait till you see the GC's kids, they're amazing. And we've got some brand new uh, dolphin tails, which excites me greatly. Let's talk about Demantoid, not to be confused with a Dementor, because they're not the same things. Demantoid garnet is one of the rarest forms of garnet. It gives you the most beautiful colour. Look at that. What am I, that is my favourite colour. Green is my favourite colour, because we are so close to nature. Now, Tom, Tom, when did you have this gorgeous citrine on? Look at those together. That's beautiful. <laughs> It launched last Monday. It's totally natural. It's just beautiful. I love citrine so much. But look at these together. This is coming up in the late show at two o'clock. What a beautiful, beautiful combination we have for you. In the uh, And you know what? I think you should put this with pinks. Put this with oranges. Look at this with an orange. I don't know why I said orange in an American accent then. Beautiful. Now, Demantoid Garnet. A very special garnet for you. Look at this. Oh, gorgeous, isn't it? But it just goes with so much. Look at that with that rich, that's traditional garnet there. It just goes with so much. Demantoid garnet gives you a fire like you've never seen before. An incredible brilliance, a real richness, a fabulous saturation of colour, and it's going to be a delight to make with it. But Gemma, this is a very precious, very special special uh, gun. It's not a precious gemstone, but a very precious item in yeah. your in your collection. Yeah. How would you treat that? Uh, it, I mean, it's absolutely gorgeous, and garnet is one of my favourites. So I've got quite a lot of garnet, all the different varieties, and I, I love the green. I love the weight of it. For It's got a different weight to mm. other, other green gemstones. And I think I would use it... Um, you know, it's sparingly, so yeah. I would use a small amount in like delicate bracelets and small amounts in delicate necklaces. Just maybe just a little bar of it, maybe five, five or six gemstones. So uh, treat it, you know, don't don't over egg the pudding with this. A little bit here, a little bit there. I think kind of like a diamond. You would you yeah. sort of hold back a little bit. You don't yeah. need everything all in one piece. Yeah, I think I would. It's either that, or I would team it with say pearls or something else really precious like mm. that and use it like spaces within a pearl Ooh, necklace. Oh yes, now you're talking. Mm. 
Garnet, of course, the representative of January's birthday. We've known, loved and adored Garnet since, uh, to, to adorn ourselves with, actually, as human beings since before the Bronze Age. So this is a very special, very historically important gemstone to us. YPJ N79 is your to go. This is your midday mega deal. And it's $44.95. There is your price. Straight in with your price. An incredible, very rare gemstone for us to have here at Jewelry Meg. You don't see a lot. And you, I tell you what, I was looking at Demantoid Garnet um, pieces of jewellery. I've had such a pretty ring. It was £900 set into silver. If you do the Google, you'll mm. see. How, uh, this is a gemstone that can command a higher price tag when you put it next to other okay. garnets. Yeah. It really does sing. It does something very special for you. You can see this incredible sparkle that you get from Demantoid garnets. If you want something different in your collection, if you want to channel set this maybe, if you want to put this into your bead loom perhaps, uh, snuggle these in between your very, very special pearls. You know the mm. ones that Charlie Barry and gives to us 28 carats YPJ N79 for £44.95 and 95 pence and away we go well done to Collection in Greater London you've got yours June in the West Midlands you've got yours well done anonymous buyer Kaylin you have yours lots of you there no other rondelles that we have got in our collection should I try and find that ring let me try and find it mm. we have got the most amazing um, hand carved fish tails for you as well I'm going to have a look at those in a sec. Demantoid garnet ring, my lord. Uh, I think I put jewellery. Sorry, I don't know why I'm singing to my... I always sing to my lord, whoever that may be. Do you do that when you're washing up no. and stuff? Washing <laughs> up, my lord, no. washing up. No? no? Just me? I don't me? do that. Fully okay. <laughs> just really, is it just me? I think it is. Oh, there's something wrong with it. My friend Melody does it, but she's quite... She's completely mad. Um, now... <laughs> ba -ba 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 to have a one piece of demantoid garnet, a two carat piece, is exceedingly rare. One um, one carat is sort of the, is what you'd you'd look to be aiming for. In fact, demantoid garnet prices range from five hundred dollars a carat um, to two thousand, uh, all the way up to seven thousand dollars a carat. I'm just wow. looking at here. And that's U.S. dollars. I think that's amazing, isn't it? This this really is a fabulous example of Demanto Garnet. Now, <clears throat> would you like to see my tail? <laughs> I just want to say that. Sorry. Okay, have a look. Now, look, there's a tail. Obviously, right, they're supposed Aww. to be dolphin tails. But hello, it's so a mermaid tail to me. Hand carved as well. Beautiful. Look at that colour. I love it. Isn't it fabulous? They're gorgeous, aren't they? It's a, that's an amazing, um, amazing lapis as well, isn't it? With those gold flecks in. You've got so many Such gold flecks quality. in there. That's a really great example of the lapis, you know, and the carving's lovely. Look at all that gold. It's beautiful, hand carved. Then, wait till you see Gemma Crow's jewellery today. In fact, you don't have to wait. We're going to show you. This is, is this drill hold this one? Or is it not? Yes, it is at the top. Oh, you've got that nice. little fishy there. Do you remember, do you remember cute, the white me? chocolate fish you used to get? Yeah, the fish and chips. That's right, yeah. yeah. <laughs> and they taste kind of soapy, but yeah. it's still quite delicious. Uh, now, before we go anywhere else, could we just have a little peruse across the GC's jewellery, please? This is why, everyone. I don't know why I have to talk like Gemma Collins. And I'm, <laughs> yeah. This is why we have the GC. Let's have a look. <laughs> She don't need the money, babe. Look at look at that! Look at you see that shell? That's Gemma Crow's kit coming up in about an hour's time. These we carved. are so excited. Yeah, these carved gems are absolutely gorgeous, and the you know the quality of the labradorite in these all the carved gems and the rose quartz actually is um it's just remarkable. So so lovely. Look really at that. Lovely. I love that, and it looks so clean and crisp. What you've done there? Yeah, well the. Because of the carvings, you can wrap them really easily because yeah. your, your sort of marks oh. are there to follow. Um, so they wrap up really nicely, but obviously keeping them bare, you can too. What did you this use? A wax pine cone there? No, no, no. I'm just using oh, what, normal oh, pliers. Okay. So Will we're going to be revealed. That's yeah, we're going to go through it? this project start to finish. So hopefully you'll be able to replicate that quite easily at home. Okay, I can't wait. Right, stay where you are, everyone. If you want to text us in, 60777, we'd love to hear from you. Ooh, now, in typical 
uh, Django style, I'm going to ask, where's me grabber? Right there. Yeah, I got it. Now, this is a huge, ooh, one and a half carats of Russian diopside I've got here. This is a very special opportunity. I don't think I've ever seen one. Do you know, we have got some information on this gemstone because you can't really get this gem in massive carat weights at the moment. It's just dust. Mm. Now, this mine does need a wipe. But I want you to see, I've got one and up. We, we must only have one of these, have we? Have we got a few? We've got 20. Oh, wow. Nice. So I can make earrings. Look how huge. That That's is amazing. beautiful. That is absolutely oh. stunning. What an amazing colour, Gemma. I've, I've never seen a loose chrome dioxide gemstone. I don't think don't, I have like this. Not cut like this. I mean, I've got loose cabochons chrome dioxide, but never with oh. that sort of clarity. Look at the depth. That cut. That's beautiful. Oh my. What a beautiful gemstone. That is stunning. I've got to have it. Mm. What do you mean should be 59.95? Where are you going to go to? This is Russian diopside. What an amazing depth you've got yeah. from Russia as well. I mean, we do get we could do get it elsewhere. What do you mean? How much is it for star? Please, please reserve me one, please. It's going under 20 pounds. Do you want one as well? <laughs> yes. Okay, That's by the incredible. end there's only left them we'll be allowed to take them. Oh! That is amazing. The price we're about to go to is literally insane. This is Russian dioxide at the moment. You, you can go for three weeks without even finding any that is going to be good enough. Look at the price, 19.95. And think about the process. We can't find this gemstone easily. So at the moment at the mines, it's just dust coming through. And they have to trifle yeah. through the dust just to, rifle or trifle, one or the other, um, just to get a piece that is okay to put in jewellery, that is okay. This is excellent. You've got a round, brilliant cut. And by the way, if any kind of cut is going to show up, any kind of inclusion, it's a brilliant cut. The cuts are there to allow the, the light to bounce inside that gemstone or around that gemstone. Now, if that happened and the, and the quality of the gem was anything other than outstanding, then you would see it. You've got to be quicker than that. Tony, you've got yours, Alice and Margaret. We well, don't actually, because Gemma and I will take them. At 19.95, what a treat. The, this is a, a carrot and a half. <gasps> it's absolutely stunning. It's got limited stock. Hilma, Alice and Sheila, Angela, Margaret, collection East, uh, East Lothian and Margaret in Berkshire. <laughs> Margaret in Belfast as well, of course. Can I move my mu Of course I can. Sorry. You can still see it. Well, I can't reach it then. It'll go cold. <laughs> just, uh, it's just one of those life's problems I'm going to have to deal with, isn't it? <laughs> Stick it on the list. Now, let's go. Ah, Gemma, I think you and I were together when I saw this last. Can I have that with you? Mm, I don't know, actually. It's gorgeous. Oh, yeah. No, I didn't because it's brand new. We had a turquoisey one. Did we, maybe? Wait till you see what I've got. This has to go with the fish theme. It's like a little cave yes. of gorgeousness. Wait till you yeah. see. You're going to go mad. We've got a little geode. So I cute. love this. Are you ready? Right, you think you've seen something fabulous. Wait a minute. Are you ready? It's a quartz geode. Look at this. Ready, ready, ready. Look at my. Obsessed. It's lovely, isn't it? Obsessed with this. They're just like, they're so magical. I bought um, Tom one, well, Tom chose one in a um, gem crystal shop when he was younger, so my son, um, and they sold them as fairy caves. That's what they were called. So, Aww. yeah. So, that's exactly what they are like, yeah. though, isn't it? Like a fairy must live in there because they're so yeah. beautiful. Um, Steve Bennett was telling us how it's these are formed like pockets of air, mm. and it's like a like a tennis ball. He said for for want of another word. Mm. And then when they get them, they sort of slice them open, like you would slice open a tennis ball and sort of un unearth it, and it would yeah. be all this drusy inside. Yeah. yeah. Do you think that was amazing? Yeah, they could, like little rock, like little rocks, and you wouldn't yeah. know until you open them out. Yeah. How so we've cute. we've only thirty three of these and you've never seen this before. Has it been in a kit before or no? Now do you know something? There's a drill hole. Oh, is there? There's a drill hole. Look. Oh, that's lovely. So it's mine's been drill holed at the top here. Look, I'll show you because I've got a very cheeky eye pin deal there next to me. There you go. So you've got the drill hole in there. 
which makes all the diff oh I love it yeah I am literally obsessed with this are you mad under ten pounds. I mean, that would be gorgeous on a long sort of long line necklace, wouldn't it? But it would also be lovely as like a bag charm or even a key ring or something, wouldn't it? Exactly, exactly. This is just—it's the shape of a dodo. Mm -hmm. Do you see the dodo? Yeah. Oh my gosh, I love it. Nine ninety-five. A Y G P fifty-six. Uh, now. Warwickshire takes three, Channel Islands two, City of Bristol two. I sound like I'm doing the football again. Uh, Surrey, you've got yours. Tanya, Melissa, Alison, Dawny, Margaret, Zurin, you've got yours. Caroline now adds another. Why wouldn't you, Caroline, in the Channel Isles? Collector in Surrey, you've got yours. How many have we got left? Got about three left. You've got to be very, 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 very quick. We are very limited stock. And there's a queue on the phones. We've got to keep going. Oh, I love that. Okay. Let's give you now a which, which, which? Sterling silver bundle? Yes, that's what I have. So here we have, uh, mm, I don't have a mat, by the way. I should have checked this before I went on. I do not have a mat. Is this, it okay if I take that I one? This big. That would be perfect. Thank you so very much, darling. Yeah, yeah. I went very posh then, didn't I? Yeah. 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 Now, whoops. Okay. So here we have, and I really like these. I, I tell you what, I'm never good at getting organised before I go on, Gemma, am I? I haven't got a belt on, I've got some wax cord. <laughs> I went in and went, Mark Smith's in there, I went, help, I need some cord. And I've got, some, I've got a wax cord belt on. You know, I'm held together by string and spanks. Do you know that? <laughs> uh, none of this sugar and spice and all things nice. I'll tell you what little girls are made of. Well, big girls. <laughs> String and spanks. <laughs> String and spanks, to which we thank the wine and the chocolate cake. There we go. That's my poem. Uh, here we have some sterling silver spacers. They're really good on if you row them up on a bracelet. Then you've got these sterling tubes. Great if you're doing some modern piece, you want to create some angles. And then we've got the silver balls there for you, silver spacer beads. Beads, I'll call them beads rather than balls. Um, now, you've got ever such a lot of silver here. You've got 40 pieces of solid sterling silver. I think if you were to shop elsewhere, you'd go somewhere like Cooks and Gold. It's quite, a, it's quite a niche thing. And I've been looking on their website quite a lot to make sure we're as competitive as we can be. And I think it's quite important to do that. Um, we are as competitive as we can possibly be. I'm also giving you things that I don't think you can source outside of jewellery maker. I think you'd, you'd be quite hard pushed to find some of these items elsewhere. PGR F95 is your item code. These should be £39.95, but we're going to go all the way down to £17.95, so please be quick, because you're getting 40 pieces for that. And Gemma, you know something, to put any of these sorts of elements in your jewellery is yeah. to use professional elements, isn't it? It is, yeah, and they add so much more value than, than, they, you know, than they actually cost you as well. They add perceived value, um, and they, they add a bit a touch of luxury as well, yeah. don't they? Yeah, absolutely. So, yeah, I, I, I always, pretty much always use spacer beads when I'm making jewellery, mm -hmm. whether that's um, still in silver if I want to create a high-end piece or, you know, or even seed beads sometimes, but I think it just, it just well, it makes your jewellery go further, your gems go further, and adds so much value too. Yeah, I agree. I think you've got a lot, um, a lot to, to work with here, and a lot yeah. of different things that you can do. It's not just sort of a one, a one those. process thing. You, you can do. I really like those square yeah, ones. Yeah, they're really stylish, aren't they? Yeah, you could put your polymer clay inside them as well yeah, if you, you want could. to create like little dot charms. Yeah, you could. Really nice those are. Well. Collection of Merseyside, you've got yours, Torfan, Tanya, Kay, Irene, Ingrid, Zurin, Jeannie. Hi, Jean. Hello. Um, now, Jean says, hi, all at Jewelry Maker. Jenny, you're dazzling as always in the beauty and the beautiful Gemma Crow. New hairstyle, gorgeous. I'm oh. so looking forward. You do look gorgeous today. Oh, thank you. You do. I'm, I'm getting used to the hair. You, got, you had a meltdown a minute ago. And <laughs> I've got the hair of everyone else. I was like, <laughs> no, you haven't. I've got, got the hair of like, everyone else. I don't know. It's strange. I, I think I it don't looks know. gorgeous. It just feels a bit normal. Mm. And I, I'm not Normal. getting used to these long bits at the end. I, I don't know yet. Well, what, what would this, well, you could stick some extensions on. I really like it. I think it's nice. <laughs> yeah, it's, I, I'd get used to it. When did you have it done? Thank you, anyway. I think it looks Saturday. lovely. Saturday. 
that today. It looks gorgeous. <laughs> I tell you what, <laughs> I, we do this, don't we? We get an idea in our head, then we do it and go, that's not what I wanted at all. <laughs> I do that all the time. Oh, we'll never be happy. No. We'll never be happy. We won't, we won't. Now, where to now? Bum, 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 ba -dum. Oh my goodness. It's this Amazonite. It is. It's beautiful. Look at this cabochon. Really strong colour. I think this is. Have you used this one before, Gemma? Oh, I wish I had. Isn't no. it? That's, this is right up your street, That's isn't it? So gorgeous, yeah. That is really beautiful, isn't what it? What would you do? Gallery wire or what? Yeah, gallery wire or even um, a wire work setting. Oh, that's, or even I might use it alongside leather. I love like <gasps> tan leather yeah. alongside turquoise. It's my, that's my palette, and so that's that's gorgeous. Yeah, yeah, you could. It could have that sort of medieval look about it. It couldn't could. It? The beautiful thing about Amazonite, and I'll say it every time, Amazonite is probably the most versatile stone in terms of texture, colour, and um, uh, the the feel of it. Because it goes with. It will go beautifully with clear gemstones, but it also goes with your opaque gemstones. Mm -hmm. So that the the texture of it works with everything, and that that colour is the most versatile, I think, of all the colours. Yeah, I do too. So, I think yeah. it's gorgeous, and, and, and it's a pop of colour. Yeah. It goes really well with bronzes and coppers, yeah. really great with silvers and golds. I don't think you can go wrong with it, can you? No, no, and it actually works really well with all of the kits today, every single one. We're very excited to bring this to you. I'm just hopping off my chair because my sciatica. I've worn heels and everything today because apparently it's better for your sciatica. Listen mm. to it, and actually it, does it is. Help. Yeah. I've got paint on my knee, haven't I, Gemma? Yes, you have. Paint on my knee, gloss on my knee, and gloss on my feet. Can't get it off. I don't think I've seen you without paint on you for the last week and a half. No, you won't. Two weeks. <laughs> I've probably got it in my hair, in all sorts of places, actually. I was in the shower and then I saw it on my shoulder and I thought, how did I get it on my shoulder? So I scrubbed happen? it with a nail brush. It really hurts. <laughs> R-I-N V12, four and a half carats of Amazonite, eight ninety five for a cabochon like this. And, and it's sizable. Look, I'm going to put my little finger next to it. That is a sizable cabochon. It's it beautiful. Is. You could put that in a ring easily, or get two and put them in earrings. Oh yeah, I mean, they, yeah, they'd be really um, kitsch as earrings, wouldn't they? Yeah, like um, they'd be really fifties. You 50s. could put some really fifties yeah. earrings. That's what I was thinking. It's quite fifties colour, though, isn't it? it if is. you think Edward Scissorhands in the fifties, you know, when yeah. they all had their little colourful bungalows Lose, and everything yeah. was perfect. Yeah, that's what it's like, isn't it? Put yeah. that with pearls or little pink, um, little pink. Uh, what am I thinking? Opal. Pink oh, would be cute. It. You could really wear cute. pink with this. Yeah. Little pillbox hats. That's what yeah. they used to wear, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, so cute. Really cute. I really love that. Right, so we're going to keep going. And this time, we're going to give you some silver. Now, these are brilliant. This is earrings findings packs, and you're ready to make. All you've got to do is add gemstones with these. So I'm going to show you. You've got uh, the hoop earrings. My daughter is actually wearing these hoop earrings at the moment. She stole them off me, as usual. Where did you get yours? I can't reveal that, actually, Gemma. I made myself some earrings. OK. I did it for the people, Gemma. All right. right. OK. I am the JC. <laughs> uh, I told you, Gemma, I'm like the Robin Hood of jewellery maker. Here we go. You have got... <laughs> In my head, that's what I am, OK? You have got these lovely loops, and I tell you something, don't they ever stay in your ears? A lot of hoops don't stay in my ears, these do. Because they come out, don't they? Or they're too big, and you're just like, oh, these are perfect size. But look how elegant these earrings are. So these go in the back, and then you have this long loop. Oh, I, th I think they're lovely, those, and they look so expensive. Then you've got two pairs of regular shepherd's hooks. Then you have your ball head pins. Then you have got your open jump rings. Fabulous. Yeah. All of this for a wee seven pounds and ninety-five pence LPR F43. You've got solid sterling silver there. Sixteen pieces for seventeen ninety-five. Let's think about where else you would get these ball head pins. Are expensive elsewhere. They sell them in packs of fifty, and we always try and give you the very best deal. Try and get these elongated earring findings. Try and get these hoop findings. You'll pay. I actually think you'll pay nine ninety-five per per finding. Do you yeah. know what I mean? See those long earrings? They're, yeah. a they're 10 pounds anywhere else any day of the week, yeah. I'd say. Would you? Yeah, definitely. Yeah, and you know, selling them on, you, 
you know, they're really great value yeah. to sell to sell on as well. You've got loads of room for profit there, haven't you? I think so. And so does everyone else, by the, by the, by the way, it seems. Sam, you've got yours. Kate took two. Margaret, Rachel, Collector, Intor fans, Susan in Essex, Glenda in Greater Manchester, Patricia and Catherine and Anne. Loads and loads of you grabbing that one. Now we're going to keep going. Do, 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 do. I have been looking for this. I don't have it. I've got the... Oh, I have! I have got it. I get two. Do I get two? Oh, these are so pretty. Songia <coughs> Ruby. Look at the clarity. Have you seen this, Ruby? No. You wait till you see this. You wait till you see the clarity. You wait. This is the... You know when you see a ruby and it's got amazing clarity, sometimes mm. you think, that's got to be a red spinel because they'd yeah. be thousands. Yeah. I you wait till you see these and you get a pair of them. So, you, so does everybody get two? You get a pair. You know, are you ready? Look at this clarity. That's ruby. That's ruby clarity. That's beautiful. That's amazing. Songia ruby with a... Me oh, we've only got seven. Yeah, you'd never believe that was, that was real, would you? It's so good. I, I just thought that... Do you know what? I was not expecting that clarity at all. No. Look at the richness of colour. We are, we are expecting... I'm expecting quite a high price tag. I don't know where they're going to. <coughs> I'm expecting this to be considered purchase. Stop it. Your should be price is only £90. But you would pay that. That's okay, so me and Gemma are pulling like faces like we've got a wasp in our mouth. Yeah. <laughs> What's where are you going with this? Oh please. If please can we left, how many have I we got? I definitely need those. This is one for the, this is one for you to keep hold of. This is this is an extremely rare opportunity. Look at the clarity, look at the colour. Everything you, imagine, you want in a ruby. Can you imagine that um the dark side we had with those either side in a trilogy? I don't think we need to imagine it, Gemma. I think we can do it. That would be, I mean, the ultimate Christmas gift. <laughs> like, have that set. Go to someone like our beautiful Hayley Kruger to make the setting for that. Are you following that crazy machine on Instagram? Have you seen what that lady is doing? She's just so amazing. Oh, she really is. It's almost oh. worth the marriage for the ring. Look, <laughs> look what you're... Oh, that was a joke, of course. Um... I mean, a, a joke, I'm not making mockery of marriage joke, not like, oh, um, I'm going to stop talking now. Twenty nine ninety five. this is a ridiculous deal. Look at these, they need, they belong in my ears. Do you know what, Gemma? I would get two of these, one would be going in, no, no, I'd have to get three. I want a three stone ring, a pair of earrings, then you've got a pendant and that's, all, that's what you need. Three of them. Perfect. Yeah. What a price. That looks like it's sold out, unfortunately. They're amazing. Aren't they amazing? Absolutely, yeah. I've got something that is well up your street. Uh, the blue ocean jasper we're about to show you has only ever been in a kit before. So you've never had this. Which box did I get that from? Was it seven? Um, I need to show Gemma that this is going to be our star by. Look, Gemma. I know. I saw that come in. Yeah, That's I knew gorgeous, there'd be a bit of it? you. Bit of you. We've got some ocean jasper. It's a star by. We have these great, big, amazing, chunky jaspers to show you. I think putting this with citrine would be a great thing. It was just the, the, what, the thing that was closest to hand. I thought, actually, those look amazing together. Yeah. Look at that pop of colour. Look at all of the swirls. Are we treating these as individuals? Are we putting them all in one piece, Gemma? What are we doing? Well, if it was me, I think I'd probably go all in one because I like a big, chunky necklace anyway. But they are also the sort of gemstones that I put in my multi-gem um, long line necklace pieces so I'll, I'll use big links and big gemstones all different ones um, in and around like a, a longer line necklace and that's and that's just the perfect thing because it's so interesting and the colour is so beautiful again it's that really versatile colour that goes with so many different combinations 
You the can... markings. Yeah. There's a paw. Can you see it? Oh, yeah, little paw print. The markings are, are just gorgeous. They're like, like that one, the green with the, all the greens in, is very like tie dye, batik. And then. Oh, I used to love doing batik. Yeah, me too. They're just, they're just absolutely gorgeous. Great for home decor as well. Like, you know, yes. light pools and, you know, the tips for skewers and things like that look really it's nice. Just, oh! So like if you wanted to make, you know, little skewers for your cheeses or your... That, that would be one bougie skewer. Yeah. That's ultimate bouge. I like it. <laughs> I feel like I, I now can't live without it. I am, I'm working on a range of dinnerware, like, with copper and things. For here? Yeah. I can't wait. Yeah, we have to do that show together. I can't wait. Can we bring a fracket table in and, Maybe, do, and yeah. just dress it? Yeah, I have asked Ben to do me a, a platter. Does he do bowls? I feel like yeah. you need a bowl. Yeah, he does yeah. bowls. Yeah, I need that. <laughs> okay, I've got one, two, three, four, five, six on my strand. You should have there or thereabouts. Loads of you have come in for this. These are big, bright, bold, beautiful. If you love that Moroccan style, mm. you're going to love these. These would go so well in my sitting room because I have these exact colours in my sitting room. I just love the turquoises with those earthy tones. I think it works so, so well. So uh, to give you a picture, I have a penny table that I did out of resin. Mm. It's just covered with pennies, save for the edges, which are two pence. And then I've got lots of turquoise. So And, and the pennies I've oxidized some of them and I've really brought the others up into a high shine so they're all mix of, of sort of colors. coppers and deep deep colors Lovely. and this would work really well with that I, I love these we're already at quarter of the stock gone before you even know the price we've only got 18 left at 11.95 these will sell out today SKP AKG sorry P48 and we've got Jacqueline and takes two Caroline Dorothy Victoria Caroline now adds another Isabel takes two Hazel you've got yours Suzanne Tanya Jody Gillian Carol Janice Kim come on Joy, collector in Lincolnshire. Uh, we've got Wayne in Bristol. Jacqueline, uh, collector in East Lothian. We've got Catherine in Lanarkshire. Jill, Caroline. We've got Eunice. We've got collector in London. Tracy in Derbyshire. Shopping, County Tyrone. You are shopping. Ten chances only. Uh, quick Devon, quick Derbyshire. Tyrone, be quick. Greater London. Angus, great. another from Greater London. You've got to be quicker than that. We are now down to single figures. Collection Somerset joins the queue. You're on the phones for these as well. We've got six remaining. 0800 644 655. if you're doing it online. Uh, but there is that third way. Do tap the app if you've got the app open. Uh, if not, wait till the next one. Get downloading it now. SKG P48. 1 PMP all day long. It's just 3 95 so you're not adding to the P&P costs either. We've only four of those left. Crikey. Oh, I love, I keep sunstone under my pillow. I do. Look at this gorgeous colour. And yes, yes, I did win the jade. Uh, I'm going to call it a fight. I'm going to call it a fight. I mean, you won it first. The debate. I think I've got paint on my jade as well. Where was it? I scratched it off earlier. Probably still a bit on there. That's now, doesn't this sit beautifully with a bit of jade? It does. Look at yes. that colour. Look at the chatoyancy. Look at the way you get that amazing shiller. And then you get this crazy illumination from the inside of this gemstone. I just think it's magic myself. Yeah, it is, it is absolutely beautiful, isn't it? It's yeah. A very, it's a lovely, soft, peachy colour, isn't it? Because mm. sometimes it can be quite orangey or quite you yeah. know, coppery, but very lovely, peachy. It's, there's a certain softness to this, definitely yeah. a pastel colour for sure. Yeah. I think this is just beautiful. I'd, uh, high temptation to rosary link these. Put that with your um, uh, Amazonite from earlier, perfect yes. combination. Or with the, the lovely ocean jasper you just have, that's gorgeous. There's yeah. a subtle power about this gemstone. I think a simple stretchy bracelet would look very pretty. Yeah. yeah An anklet. Yeah. I've still got my anklet on. Yeah, I know. It's got paint on the ankle as well, though. It's a good though. shape for anklets, isn't it? Perfect. Like flat coin. Yeah. Yes, we're talking about the anklet shape yeah. at the moment. <laughs> now, these with your citrine that is coming up later. <laughs> this is gorgeous. Sorry, I don't know why I'm purring like a cat yeah, lately. you keep purring today. I keep doing that <laughs> when I like things. It's just a noise, you know, that I like making. <laughs> Look! <laughs> 
seven pounds and ninety five pence. LSGP sixteen ninety carats of sunstone. These are six millimeter rounds on a thirty eight centimeter strand. Collector in Berkshire, Janice, you've got yours. County Antrim takes two. Jennifer takes two. Joe, you've got yours. Carmel in Dublin. Uh, collector in Lancashire. Do you know my friend is um, taking his horses? I don't know if you saw that I uh, shared it on Facebook from. Uh, Dromoland Castle, which is in Newmarket on Fergus, all the way to Dublin to hand a letter to the Prime Minister oh. because it's ruined their, their business hasn't been supported because of the oh. Covid thing. So he's marching with all the horses. Oh, wow. All the horses on. Um, they're obviously stopping, they're going the old Dublin road, not the main road, obviously. But yeah, it's happening. Wow. So Dublin's about to get very horsey in the next yeah. week. <laughs> they'll, be, they'll be all over the place. Um, yeah, bless him. Now, horse and carriage rides and stuff is what they were doing. So, we launched these about a week ago. And I've got to say, this one was my favourite out of the two connectors. There are two of them that we launched the same. They were both beautiful. But I absolutely... And I wouldn't normally go for Howlite. It's, uh, it's a gemstone I like, but it was not one that I would home towards. This is beautiful. I think it's modern and it's crisp, but still... I don't know why and I don't know how because I think it's going to be very contemporary but I also think it's got a bit of a Victorian feel about it and I don't know why, it's just me. Feel so what I did was, I, you know I wear this bangle, a lot of you message me about this bangle but wouldn't this bangle be beautiful if you put it with something like this yeah. instead of the connector that I've got? Yeah. Wouldn't that be lovely? Yeah, it, it, it is a lovely piece, actually. I think the Victorian element comes from that oval setting. Do, do you think that's, that's what it is? Yeah, I think that's what it is. And it, it, But it's also got quite a Versace sort of look with the marble behind, hasn't it? You know I love that mousse. It's very, um, yeah, it's, it's, it's very high-end looking. I think it is too. Yeah. yeah. I think it is too. There's a lot of silver there as well, isn't there? Do you know, and you've got that silver star in the centre. I yeah. just love this. I think it would make a very pretty ring. Mm. £8.95. These are on relatively new to us. Now you could etch onto the back. Look at all of that rich silver. We could have left this part hollow and given you a semi bezel setting, but we didn't. You've got that entire back, so there is a lot of silver on here. Yes. Big, big gram weight for under £10. This is a, a fabulous little ingredient. Now, we're going to keep going. Oh, is it Opalina? Where did I get this one from? I do love... So Opalina is opal and Chrysocola, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Like blended. Not like we didn't put it in a whizzer. It naturally blends. Oh, it's beautiful. I made a banana bread yesterday. Not... Yeah. No, not yesterday. day before talking about putting things in the whizzer. Here we go. Look at this. Oh, what a colour. Look at this gemstone. Are you drawn to it? It does feel like sort of Santorini seas and amazing mm. rich greens. This is a stunning strand. Look at that blue. It's gorgeous, isn't it? Oof. I had this in my challenge last week. Wasn't that with you? Was it with you? No, I didn't see this with Opalina. You, I think it was. I, I I'd have definitely stolen something that you yeah. made out of this. It, it's just lovely. And again, they just got such impact just on their own, haven't they? Yeah. That lovely um, sterling silver earring wire set that you had. Perfect thing to go with that. Definitely. So, you know, they've got that lovely impact. I love that colour. What a strong colour we're seeing here. Beautiful. Great, great colour, great, a great price coming up for you. And do you know, each piece is very, very unique. I was uh, listening on the radio, I was telling everybody when I came in, they're um, sending a probe up to Mars, mm. mainly women, actually, from, I think it's from Dubai, and uh, they were talking about it on the, uh, and can you imagine what you're looking down on? Mm. No, hardly any other people ever in the world, ever, 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 will have that view of the Earth. Do you know? It's just amazing, isn't it? MQJ, imagine if there are aliens, this is what they can see our planet. We look at the moon and we think, wow, that looks great. Sometimes we can see Mars. Mm. Look, this is the Earth. Don't you think? From a satellite view. Definitely. Definitely. It just mesmerises me, those wonderful colours. And, and the fact that Mother Nature made this, there's a little island in the middle there. Although, I think you get lost in these. Mm. I think you could make quite, um, quite sensory pieces out of them. 
Yeah. I'd love to see a bracelet. I'd love, what did you make again, Gemma? Did you say? I, I used them individually, so we did individual pendants and um, drops for earrings. I think I did a row of three graduated because we've got that lovely graduation as well. So just a very elegant sort of three drop. Um, Starting from piece. big to small, big or small to small, to big. yeah. Oh, lovely. Yeah. Beautiful. Thirty nine ninety five. Let's keep going. Oh my gosh, we've got black star dioxide. We're a little bit bouge. We have black star dioxide. This is very, 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 very interesting. Look, so um, a black star gem, so you might have heard of black star sapphire. But you, you see this star, sometimes more than one. It's a very, very special thing because this is totally natural, right? I'm going to move the gemstone. Can you see the star? So you need one sort of source of light, don't you? We've yeah. got so many lights in the studio. But when you've just got natural sunlight, you just get that very vivid... Big star. star Have yeah. I a torch? Um, no, if I, I've got a torch over here. No. Look at these. Can you see that you can see the star there? Very, very unique opportunity for you. Very unique. We got Peridot coming up in the next hour. We're gonna give you the fishy tails um, before the break. In about five minutes, because a lot of you have been asking. Don't worry, don't worry. We've got some uh, treats for you lined up today. Gemma Crow's uh, masterclass coming up in about half an hour's time. Forty-nine ninety-five. Well, about quarter past. We're going to go. We're going to go all the way down to thirty-four pounds and ninety-five pence as your on-air discount. I N N V thirty-one one hundred carats of black star dioxide. You've got a fabulous deep, deep colour and a real interest there. Really different. You can see the star there. Look. And they're, they're so, I just, I just think they are mesmerising things like that you just don't want to put down, do you? I've got to put it down because we must keep going. I always think this strand is like a London blue topaz. If it was, I think there'd be a much higher price tag on it. Look at this depth. A real, a, a beautiful, beautiful depth of colour here. Have you seen these, Gemma? Mm -hmm. Look at that colour. Oh, kyanite. Yes. Indigo kind of, and it's natural. Wow. See, I think that would look nice with the opalina. Yeah. It's got that, you know, that um, I like blue, hasn't it? Yeah. It's really beautiful. And like you said, the London blue. I think it looks London blue. When I first mm. saw this strand, I, I could have I bet money on the fact... I mean, don't bet money. It's a bad thing to do, right? Um, I could have bet money on the fact that it was London blue topaz, but it wasn't. And I was really intrigued then because I've not seen kyanite this colour before. Fallen completely head over heels in love with the green kyanite that I've been mm. seeing lately. My word, this is going to be just as beautiful. If you bought the Demantoid, look at them together. Ah, what a combination! £24.95 for this incredible gem. You've got a depth of colour, you've got an incredible sparkle. I'd put these into maybe threes, maybe I'd put these into um, a setting. Maybe mm -hmm. I'd put them in, maybe I'd do like a channel setting with them. Yeah. They're very pretty. I think a channel setting would work nicely. Maybe in with something, like if you wanted to make. Um, like a gents piece, like channel set them into like some nice two mil leather or something Ooh, like that. Yeah. So that they just because they're I don't know they sort of look metallic, don't they? Almost like um, what's, the, what's the, the pewter? I'm thinking of the, yes, yeah. Am I thinking pewter? You know that dark yeah. metal? Yes, yeah, pewter. Yeah, yeah. Very that, soft metal. But they used it, it often in the medieval yeah. times. It's putting me in mind of that. Yeah, work really well. Again, mm. you're, you're very medieval today. Oh, yeah. I've got to tell you, you are medieval very vibe. medieval today. Uh, now we're <laughs> going to give you, it's time for another star by. Have a look. See, Gemma and I have just been absolutely going crazy over these. For me, I'm making a while. I'm making a mermaid. Yeah. I love this tail. 
yeah, you could definitely, definitely make a mermaid's body to go with that. Maybe a bit of Viking knit or something to create that lovely tail. Um, yeah, I mean, they're gorgeous. But just, you know, just on a leather cord like we were talking about before, just that, um, sort of that, it's like a, a dolphin or a mermaid or... Look at that like hand that. carving. Yeah, and also if you put it the other way, you know, it could be like, um, like the start of a flower, you know, so, you know... Oh, it could. Like, you could have, make a little flower that sits in the middle of that. Quite a deco. Little gooseberries. Yeah, quite art deco if you put it up that way. Yes. In its, in its design. Yeah. Look at all of that detail. And look at this lapis. Yeah. So this is the dolphin tail that we're giving you hand carved. Now, lapis lazuli has a deep, rich history. And um, it is the gemstone that was crushed down and used as the sky in the Sistine Chapel. Definitely. It was that Michelangelo chose uh, lapis blue for that colour. Yeah. Lapis blue is a, a term in, in fashion and it's, it, it is directed from this gemstone. And it derives from this gemstone. And of course, the gemstone that we get from Afghanistan. It can take weeks to get this gemstone. Uh, you have to travel by horseback to get to the mine. You can only bring back what um, you can carry. Yeah. First of all, that's a trek. Yeah. Second of all, we know that, I, I mean, I wouldn't get on a horse and, and take it across uh, Afghanistan at the moment. Mm. I'd rather dec decline that offer, thank you very much. Mm. But to, to know that w when you get to your destination, they have to mine, then bring it back, then you have to trade this. Yeah. I mean, the process can be about 10 years between mining this and, and getting it to, to jewellery maker. Or to, well, not just specifically jewellery maker, but actually get it to its final destination, destination. to sell. Yeah. So do consider that. There will probably be a drought of lapis lazuli because of the knock-on effect. Because of you know it takes about 10 years. So yes, we've got it now, but that's not to say that that's going to be, um, be... We might not be able to get it so readily in the not-too-distant future, I'd say. So you've got here an opportunity to wire work, continue... Do you know, I think a seed beaded piece of a fish or a mm. mermaid or a merman yeah let's not forget neptune himself yes yeah why not in fact you could, you know you, or you could just use it as a basis for a theme it's just a nice shape to have sort of hanging centrally on a on a neckline piece anyway so you know you could then use the theme maybe maybe incorporate the shape of a fork you know for neptune and um, yes. into your piece or use other sort of seashells and and things like that in with it I can't yeah. believe the carvings. Yeah. And it's so smoothly done. Yeah, it's, it's really nicely done, isn't it? Totally natural. No dye. Now, some lapis lazuli, like, look at this, 1190 tiny five. This will sell out today. Loads and loads and loads of you coming through on my screen. Now, know this, a lot of the world's lapis lazuli is dyed. The quality here is fantastic. Actually, I didn't know. I thought, gosh, this is a really strong colour. Is it dyed? Totally natural. Look at the pyrite inclusions. You want that. You want to see all of that gold. You want it to feel like a starry, starry night. And that's what you've got mm. here. Aren't these absolutely different? They're so unique. Yeah. They so are. unique. They are. I, I'm more blown away by the quality of that lapis, to be honest. I haven't yeah. seen lapis of that quality for a long time. In fact, I think you know, that is the sort of quality that I was seeing in um, in London, you know, when we went and looked yeah. in Harrods at all the concessions in there. That's that's the sort of colour with and the sort of gold inclusions that we were Absolutely. seeing there. Absolutely. Absolutely gorgeous. You're coming to the Burlington Arcade with me next time. I am, you, yeah. I can't believe you didn't go there. You need to go to Bond Street. Yeah, Hannah and I actually said we're going to try and see if you'll let us stay over. 100%. <laughs> Do we come over 100% next? come and stay over and then we'll, yeah. we'll go Soho. Oh, we'll do it all. We'll get a sello. You're the all. GC in sello. We'll love it. <laughs> Don't you worry about me. I'll take you under my wing, girl. There's yeah. always a place for you in the that's, JC's house. That's what we're hoping. <laughs> you don't even need to ask. Okay, here we go. We have got the drill hole at the top. This could be a bit of a sign of Christianity as well, yeah. couldn't it? Yeah. Because we all know that um, the fish is a sign of... It is Christianity, isn't it? Yes. Yeah. I don't, Catholicism didn't take on the fish, but Chris, the Christianity, Christians did, didn't they? Have a look. May have got that completely wrong. This is me, after all. Um, but I'm pretty sure it is a sign of, of Jesus, the fish. Mm -hmm. What with him, yeah. you know, in the Last Supper. And Pisces. Pisces! Pisces, the fish, yeah. You know, again, it's a lovely shape, isn't it? It's that, it's that lovely shape that's going to hang well in a pendant. 
you know. What about equally... if you know someone who's mad on fishing, you could do them a little yeah. wire work fishing pendant. Yeah, you could. And again, you could incorporate that theme, so you could have a hook clasp for a bracelet, like yes. a wrap around bracelet with this on it. And um, somehow you can glue this onto onto leather, or you can wire wrap it in, or. You know. I think this is so cute. Look, again, all hand-carved. You've got that drill holding at the top. And I think if you did want to do the sort of fish and hook, the, the, the fish and hook thing, you can. QNV Z75, £9.95 pence is your price. It's time to come shopping with us today for something a little bit unusual, a little bit different. Please don't forget Gemma Crow's kits. We think they will sell out today. Mm. We are absolutely delighted to be bringing you Gemma's kits. Now, these will tie in. Let's have a little peruse across Gemma's pieces, particularly, particularly looking at the shell piece with all that wonderful Labradorite. Look at... Woof! That isn't that. That Labradorite oh, is amazing. It really is. I shared on my page yesterday. Mm -hmm. A guy had taken a Labradorite and he painted on top of it. He's, <gasps> so, it's so beautiful, isn't oh it? Oh my! Yeah. He's amazing. Yeah. We need to get him on. That, that's, I don't know where he's from. That scene is. In the, the Did you see scene. it? The thing I shared. Yeah. Well, I don't know if I've seen two. Yeah. yeah it's got to be it's the same space. guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. That'd be amazing. How yeah. fabulous is love this? These kits. I love these kits. Me too. I think this is fantastic. <laughs> £9.95 QNVZ75. Let's keep going. Do I have a box? I do have that. Uh, I always think this is so light, but it's not. We have got a bead box for you. A bead box is a great idea for anybody that's beginning because you've got all these different shapes in rounds, which means that you are ready to go. You've got your stretchy bracelets, you've got your matching necklaces, you've got pendant uh, choices as well. We have got for you, you can do macrame with this. If you're a seasoned jewellery maker, you already know that this is a really good investment. But because you get the graduating pieces, you've got your matching earrings, you've got your necklace, you've got your suite of jewellery, and you've got them many times over. But you can do your macrame with these, you can do your um, kumihimo with these, your beady beads, you can do your certain weaves with these. Mm -hmm. A really great stash builder. Would you agree, Jen? Absolutely. Yeah, they're brilliant. And they're great, for, like you said, all the different techniques, um, beading techniques in particular, that you can create different um, style pieces with. Wiggle weave. Um, the wiggle weave. Wiggle weave, yeah, and the ladder weave, all just really great techniques that you can you do with these various sizes. But just, they're, they're really great sizes for all, for all your makes, aren't they? I mean, yeah. And to be honest, that snowflake obsidian, it's like hen's teeth. I've been trying to get hold of snowflake obsidian. I can't get enough of it because I know we don't talk about um, healing oh, properties I do. so much, but I you do. do. Gemma. So, it's a belief, it's not a fact. So, it's the looking stone, it helps you see you for your own self. What's that, the snowflake? Snowflake obsidian. Oh, well, we, we use it, I use it, and lots and lots of people I know use it now for back problems. You need it, Jen. I need it. Actually, I never Steve take, Bennett told me that the other day. I never take mine off because I... Is it working yeah. out for you? Yeah, yeah, it's, it's, yeah, it works really well. So if I put this in my pocket right now... Yeah, I mean, obviously, I'll get done for thieving, but, yeah. you know, it's a risk. I'm, at least I'll be able yeah. to Put it in run. There. But I've made so many now for friends and family, and they ask, they say, oh, it works. Can you make one for my dad, or can you make one for my, my sister? She struggles. Yeah. Shall I make one for Mia, then, as well? Because she's got terrible back. Yeah, do it. That's, and Snowflake Obsidian, I, I grab whatever I can get whenever, I, whenever it comes you're on. You're right, because you're right. They're really popular. My sciatica's been having me up in the night as well. Shall I do an experiment? Shall I make a stretchy bracelet and see whether, I'm a, see whether I actually get some sleep tonight? Definitely. I'm not I even would. kidding you. I, I wake up as soon as my ibuprofen wears off. Yeah. Our Hannah Stewart, she, she was suffering. I gave her mine. Because um, that's what happens. I make the one for me and then somebody says, oh, I've got a bad back. So I give them mine and then make myself another one. Um, I gave it to Hannah and she used it. She said she, she didn't think about it, but when she got up the next day, she just... It was only sort of after making a cup of tea, she thought, hang on, I didn't have to do like evolution of man getting out of bed, you know, when you That's have me. To get up and then it slowly, slowly gets straight. I have to tell the dog to get off me because I need to get up and because I'm so slow, she yeah. keeps diving on me. I'm like, no, yeah. we're going out in a minute. Hands said she didn't even think about it until later and thought, oh, well, the only difference is that. So she gave it to her dad. Her dad had the same experience, so she's now making them for everyone as well. Okay, yeah. well, I'm, I'm absolutely happy to pay 19 95 for one bracelet, then, if it's going to do that. Definitely. That's cheaper than me going to the... to have me acupuncture. I do like that, though. Oh. 
Oh, I love a good click. 1995 KSP 038 is your item code. After the break, we have got Gemma Crow coming up with the masterclass. Do not go anywhere. The kits will be straight after the break. Then we're going to go in and uh, learn how to make that. I think these kits are going to sell out. We're going to put money yeah, on it, aren't definitely. we? Definitely. We're not supposed to bet, but you know, we're not supposed to do a lot of things in life. Don't go anywhere. We'll be back after this. question or query for Jewellery Maker, then contact our call centre on 0800 644 655 and press option 2. Email help at jewelrymaker.com or drop us a message on our Facebook page. Owning a strand of genuine gemstones is always exciting, but being able to use it in your handcrafted jewellery, then passing it on to its new owner with proof of its authenticity is even more incredible. Why not add one of our printed authenticity cards to your order and share that same feeling with your customers? You can also access online authenticity certificates through items you've previously purchased by looking at your order history on your account details. The certificate gives you valuable information about your purchase and is your guarantee of quality and peace of mind from Jewellery Maker. Hi Jewellery Makers, my name is Mark, I'm the Managing Director of Jewellery Maker. When we took over Jewellery Maker earlier this year, I was absolutely blown away by the incredible talent that was coming through on our Wall of Fame competition. And this is taking Wall of Fame to a whole new level. From the 1st of July, every quarter, Steve and myself are going to have a look at all of the entries on Wall of Fame, and we are going to choose the most exceptional piece and put that into production. What we will do is we will produce those pieces and if you are chosen as the winner, you will get free of charge 10 of those pieces sent through for you as a congratulations for you being that quarter's winner. I cannot wait to see the fantastic inspiration that comes in from our customers and at the end of September I'll be live on your screens announcing the winner. So please get your entries into the email address below and I will update you at a later time as to what day that will be and I look forward to seeing you all then. Thank you very much. Jewelry maker, create, wear, share. Did you know that when you book a Jewellery Maker workshop, you're given exclusive access to our Jewellery Maker shop? You can browse through special items and offers, be privy to selected discounts and deals that you can't get at any other time. Shop whilst you learn and grab yourself some amazing offers. For more information on workshops and available dates, contact our call centre. Don't want to miss a Jewellery Maker show? Then download our app for Android and Apple devices by searching Jewellery Maker in your relevant app store. Stay with Jewellery Maker wherever you go. Don't miss out on our amazing deals, inspiration, demonstrations and of course all the fun. Create, wear, share on the go with Jewellery Maker.
Welcome back. You're watching Jewelry Maker. My name is Jenny Cleary, and in this hour, we're going to introduce you to the masterclass. Gemma Crow will be taking over your television screens, but first, we're going to give you the kits that can complete this jewelry. Wait till you see the prices. Wait till you see what we've got for you. We have got, and Gemma, this is the piece you're going to be um, concentrating on, yeah. isn't it? Yeah, this is the piece I'm concentrating on. So I've made this piece and that piece with, with this kit. Wow. So the two, the two that are sort of similar. Now, we know that you're a big fan of chips and nuggets. We know that you love your Labradorite. Yes. We know that you love using all your wires. Okay. So here is a kit that I think is going to be really, really special for you. You've got that amazing chip and nugget strand that is Labradorite. I absolutely adore this kit. What a kit. Yeah. Is this quite a cola? I, I don't We didn't know. Or is it Jasper? Let's have a look. I think it's Jasper. It's absolutely... Oh, it's, it's reconstituted gemstone with pyrite. Oh. That is, there is beautiful. I there's a bit of a pyrite fleck in it. I mean, it's actually a gorgeous colour. And it is a lot like... Um, what's what's the colour? Cross colour. Yeah, lot, I'd say. Very, very similar. Love but it. The combina this combination couldn't be better. I just think it just has worked so beautifully. Even to the colour of the wire that we've chosen to go with it, the combination's just perfect. Now, you're also going to get the all-important... Now, Gemma, you told us these were drill hold. Um, I don't know if the shells are. Yeah, I think uh, they are. are they? Oh, yes, they are. Yes, they are. Oh, yes, they yeah, are. Yeah, I didn't even notice until the you very didn't last use make. Drip. Look at that. <laughs> oh, Gemma, I'm obsessed with this. Isn't it gorgeous? It's that, that carving just works so well with it. <sighs> obsessed. You could do one of those little tiny paintings on you here, could. couldn't you? Look at the lightning bolt. <gasps> oh, my gosh, this kit's going to sell out. You're already in for it. Look, yeah. you get two of those, but they come in a little special pouch. Did you get the pouch? Yes. Yeah, I get a little pouch with the gemstones there, which are very luxurious little pouches to I use. I love it. You know, to gift them in or to sell them, you know, in as well. One millimetre gauge, 0.4 gauge. I'm so excited about this kit. I just, this mm. is one of my favourite kits ever. It's, Look at yeah. them. It's a, it's, a, it's a stunning kit. Now that's without the gemstones there. Yeah. Here's the gemstones. My. Me, oh my. It's just a feast. You know, just put it down on the table, just looking like that. I mean, that recording just shows the, how it all is tonally so beautiful, but textures are so different. It's just, it's wonderful. It's a thunderstorm of a kit. I yeah. love it. Yeah. Look at the drama. Oh. Yeah, I loved, I loved making this piece of jewellery. It's, 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 really, it's really simple, but it's lots of stages and it's quite involved. Um, but it all, it's all very simple and it builds beautifully together. So I'm, I'm excited to take you through the project today. I am absolutely, cannot wait, very much looking towards it. Now, now honestly, the, we were supposed to be coming at uh, £28, just under £30, which I actually think... Great. Oh, that's a great... Look, let's face it, if you go anywhere else and find those hand-carved shells. Mm. You're happy to pay that if that's what you're looking for because I'm telling you, these are niche. Yeah, I think you'd be looking at, the, you know, at a fair, you'd be Quality. looking at between sort of 10, 12 pounds each on those. Exactly. You know. So. I'm happy to pay that price for these two alone. Yeah. You know that. And then you've got these strands. We're going to go under 20 pounds. You've got to be quick though because a lot of you are grabbing this already. Already half of the stock has been allocated. EMX C52, you've got to check out your baskets quickly. £19.95 and away we go. Here you are, here's your names. Melissa, Ella, Mary, Stephanie, Christine, uh, Meggie, another Stephanie, Shona, Kim, Kathleen, Annette, hi Annette, uh, Linda, Brenda, Mo, Anne, Angela, Leslie, Julie, Marcia, Angela, Janice, a uh, collector in Lancashire, Colette in County Cork, Julia in Derbyshire, a uh, collector in London, Joe in the Midlands, Jenny, Eileen, Lynn, Leah, Fiona, Melissa, you're there. Uh, we've got Linda, Anthony and Kay, Claire, Donna, Leanne Gale. Now there is a Daisy and Conway. There is a, a queue on the phone. It's a couple of minutes long. Hit one if you want to go through the automated. You are loving this kit. Three quarters of the stock has been allocated and gone. Only a quarter of the stock now remains. In a moment, I think I'll be telling you this kit has gone limited stock. EMX C52. It's called Shell Yeah. <laughs> 
<laughs> Shell, yeah, I'm having that. Yeah, it's a uh, good name. Joe in Cornwall, uh, apparently, had very good weather yesterday in Cornwall. Did you have good weather here yesterday? Was it nice? It's lovely in Gloucester. Ours was on and off. No, On and off it was. It was. Yeah. I had, uh, I had to wear a baseball cap all day yesterday. It was Did hot. you? From the heat? I was inside Peyton again. I was outside in the morning because Max had football, but they weren't allowed to play football, but he had uh, like a hit session he had oh, to right, do. Yeah. Um, so that was sweaty at 10 a.m. Yeah. I did loads yesterday. Made me, me grass, <laughs> painted me floor. Loads. Hello, Janet in County Down. Wow, beautiful jewellery, Gemma. Looking forward to seeing your Gemma. Your Gemma? Your <laughs> demo. <laughs> Thanks. Tina! Uh, OMG, what lovely necklaces. You've outdone yourself. The GC has outdone herself. Oh. Mic drop. <laughs> you should just you. drop the mic and walk I, out. Like I like. said, it was, it was an absolute pleasure working wow. on them. It really was. Now we've got one more Labradorite kit to give you with the Neon Appetite round. Neon Appetite rounds. I am purring today. You know, you know when we left the show last time, you had Appetite rounds coming on the next morning. Yes, well, and you wanted these them. These kits arrived. <gasps> And um, I was like, oh, well, I've got the Neon Appetite right. So, you know, just whip myself up a little stretchy with those as well. <laughs> oh, I love this colour. I may. But this is more of a deep appetite. I wouldn't I necessarily it. say it was... Well, it is neon. It's my favourite of the colours of the appetite. Isn't it gorgeous? Yeah. Amazing. I just put that citrine next to it, but of course, wait to see what you've got. But these are like... Is it a chrysalis? No, they're, they're a shell. They're... Um, is it, a is it a shell? A conch shell. A conch shell. Yeah. And you've got the carvings round, you know, so they're just Do you think, like they, a, think they look a little bit like a chrysalis, though, as well, don't yeah, they? Yeah, they could. They could definitely, yeah, you could definitely put them in some sort of metamorphosis design, you know, that would be lovely. Oh, oh Gemma, colour. look at the power of it's this amazing, isn't it? Isn't and then it? you do get wire as well. So sorry, Gemma, yeah. I have to just tell everyone. 0 0.4 and 1 millimetre, and that's in the rose gold on copper. Mm -hmm. So that, oh, Gemma Crow, we are spoiling you. Yeah, and they've got drill holes in the top, so you can literally just thread them in, strand them into a beaded necklace. They look gorgeous. I've done a bit more of a heavier wire work um, or a wire work setting in the one, but I actually didn't need to. I could have just threaded it. Wow, the, this is a really special kit. Should be, look, I'm, again, I'm happy to pay that. You've got big rounds here. So this is a uh, multicolored Neon Appetite rounds, mm. and they're eight millimeters. These are, these, this kit is st strikingly stunning. Yeah. I mean, this is so different. Yeah. I know you can't see the labradorescence there, but if you move it slightly, it's bam, oh. so powerful. The labradorescence is really strong. Really strong. You can see in the ones you've got there that you can move around in your sample. It's, you know, they're unreal. Look at this. Wait, wait till you see this. This is unreal. Look. Ooh, ooh, la la. Gorgeous. And of course, those carved, those carved sections, they're ideal to wrap your wire into to follow the contours to give you a lovely, you know, just to highlight them or even to help hold them in place. Oh, yeah, really lovely. I absolutely adore this. Oh, now this kit looks like it's going to sell out. Have we got any left? We don't have many left. Look, it does look like we are allocated up to the brim. If you all check out, I think we might be... Marcy has taken this to Nebraska. Mm. Lisa, Sue in Leicestershire, Joe, Linda, Victoria, Glenda. I have got loads... It's over allocated massively. What kits? One more, this time with rose quartz, and it's so pretty. Mm -hmm. so this is the more, I was going to say delicate, but it's not because you've got some big gemstones in here. Love the champagne gold mm. colour, love yeah. that. Yeah, the champagne gold just softens everything up. Yeah, it? yeah. And I, I love these elongated rice beads. Uh, they're one of my favourite shapes to work with. Yeah, you could do so much shape work with them, yeah. can't you? Yeah, and again, the beautiful carving on that um, conch shell, carved conch shell in the rose quartz. Just, just so lovely. Very soft, very pretty, utterly beautiful. You've got rose quartz conch uh, carved beads here, rice beads and wire. Your wire is in the same gauge as 0, uh, 0.4 and 1 millimetre, but this time in champagne gold, which I think is just works so well with this. You could put silver with it, you could put gold, mm -hmm. you could put copper, um, but I think it does work very well with that soft gold. You get two of the conch beads and you get the pouch. 
-hmm. SPX, see, you knew where we were going. You're in for it already. How beautiful is this kit? If you can get all three and you're feeling up for it today, then well mm. done to you. Uh, this is a really, really great opportunity. Please be quick. We are going to get to demonstration very, very shortly. We just wanted to give you as many goodies as we could before Gemma gets using them. SPX, C 75. Um, loads and loads. Oh, hang on. My thingy. So you've got 71 carats in the rose quartz carved conch pairs. They are th uh, 30 by 14. You've got a pair of them. Um, and then you've got your, you've got 20 meters of, of wire. And then you have got, of course, your dyed magnesite or magnesite. Those are 10 by 30. You get 13 pieces on here. So you're guaranteed a minimum of 13. So Gemma, you are going to be giving us a demonstration. We're going to demo now. Have we got anything else that we need to show before? We're going to go straight to demonstration. And make sure you are checking out your baskets. We're going to leave the graphics on your screen now. If Gemma happens to be using anything that we've got, we'll change the graphics to that item. Mm -hmm. Okay? I think the kits look like they've pretty much sold out, don't they? Save for the rose quartz. How many of the rose... Oh, oh we do have... We have single figures left of each at the moment, but you are going to need to check out. Gemma, please do take away. Okay. So, we're going to make... We're going to go through making this piece here. Mm -hmm. um, and so, we'll make it in a few stages. Um, so it's, it's just lots of layers and bringing them all together. So just we'll start off with um, with about a meter of our one millimeter um, copper wire, and I'm going to um, I'm going to use this. And what this is going to do, this is going to surround the the shell, um, and it's also going to come up to make the neckline piece as well. This is why it needs to be about a meter because we're put lots of um, little loops in this as we go along. So about a metre to start with and then make sure you've got your, we're going to have our shell um, cabochon handy or a shell, carved shell handy and I'm going to take my, I'm going to use some bell making pliers because I can get consistent sized hoops with my bell makers. If you haven't got bell making pliers you can use just your simple round nose pliers but I would make a little mark at, at the point at which you always want to make your loops because we want them consistent and the same size all the way through the piece, okay? So I would make a little mark along there to make sure they are. And so the first thing we're going to do is make the little loops that drop from the bottom of the conch shell. So here's, here it is. I want, I want um, seven loops along the bottom. So I'm going to start with the center one, and I'm going to do three loops one side and three loops the other. So I'm going to go into the center of my uh, meter of wire. I'm going to pop my pliers in place and I'm going to bring this, these wires all the way around to make a loop around the pliers, okay? I pull them really tight so I get that loop snug onto the jaws of the mandrels there, okay? So there's one loop. So then on this side, I want to do three more. So I'm gonna pop my pliers next to it. I'm just going to do a combination of moving my pliers around and moving the wire around to get that shape, that little loop where I want it. Now I want them really quite snugly next door to one another, not much space in between. Okay, so there's two. And then my next one. So I second one on that side of the loop, like that. And then my third one this side of the loop. So again, making sure that I'm getting that, those loops nice and consistently spaced and consistently the same size, okay? So there's my three that side of the center, and then I'm gonna do three the other side of the center. Now, what you'll notice when you do the loops is that your wire will either come above or below as you go round. So this time, we want the wire to go below as we come round, because then they will all be sitting um, in the same direction and they will eventually lay flat. Whereas if we come up over the top sometimes and down underneath sometimes, we get this like stepped effect. So we're gonna consistently make sure the loops um, run in the, same, in the same way. And that wire takes the same path on each loop. So move the loop or the pliers so that the loop is where you want it and make sure this time that the wire is coming underneath and round. So there's two by the side, my last one now, before we can shape it around the shell. So just holding on, turning, 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 getting that into position. Okay, so now pulling the wires out nice and straight on the other, either side, we've got our seven loops in the middle of our wire. 
Okay, so then I'm going to shape it around my um, my shell. So obviously the shell's not going to stay still. So this you start the process sort of roughly. So if you just take the two wires and allow them to cross over, remember wire's got a bit of a spring, so you can go a bit a bit more dramatic than you need and then spring it back. Okay, so we want to get this sort of shape. We just pull that in, making sure those loops are centrally on the bottom and pulling that wire around and hugging the sides of the gemstone. Okay, so once you're happy that that's the right shape, then we want to take our flat nose pliers to the top of that, of where that sort of, um, the, sort of the narrowest point then of the shell. Just push that again and hold on tight with our flat nose pliers and we're going to double that wire back on itself so out to the side and then we we'll put it on the same position on the other side as well so the best thing to do is put it back into position before you do it because of that little it springs out so put it back into position pop your pliers in place so holding on um, and then pull it back on itself so we end up with this now you may need to make I've done that very quickly. You might need to make some adjustments, um, and that's fine. If you need to undo it, come back and do it again. You should have quite a bit of, it's quite forgiving this wire, so you should have the opportunity to do that. Okay, so there's the start. We then want to make, so that's going to sit like that. We then want to make a little, um, the little scallop detail that's going to make it even more like a shell. So that's going to look like this, okay? And it will sit on top like that. So I'll show you how to make that. For this we only need about, let's take about 30 centimeters of wire so they've got plenty to work with. So I'm going to take, cut that from the reel. Again it's the one millimeter wire and again I'm going to start in the middle and do my loops either side. Now with this because we want to stitch it to the frame where here we've got an odd number of loops, this time we want an even number because we want this sort of, um, the wavy edge then, if I put this together and explain what I mean, we want the wavy edges to sit in between the loops so that's easier to stitch on. If we had an even number, they'd be sitting right where those loops cross and then we'd have like a bulky area to stitch. So we're going to do an, an odd number, an even number of scallops and an odd number of loops, okay? I hope that makes sense. Um, so I'm going to take my, my um, pliers again, my bell makers, and this time I'm going to use a slightly larger mandrel on the pliers. And again, I'm going to go to the centre, and I'm just literally going to make a U-shape to start with. Okay? So nice and close to those pliers to get it nice and um, even each time. And then I'm going to put my pliers onto the edge of the scallop there, so just where that the, it starts to um, curve, your pliers won't go down any further. So hold on to the straight edge with your thumb, push against the pliers. You want a really nice tight bend back on itself there. And then do the same on the other side. Okay, nice tight bend back on itself. And make that one a little bit tighter even. Okay, so we've got this. And then as before, we're going to do the scallop either side until we've got the right amount. Okay, so. I'm going to take the same, the same um, jaw on my or mandrel on my pliers, roll it around, and push around until you've got it where you want it. If we do, do them the same each time, we're pretty much guaranteed to get them fairly even. Now, don't worry if they're not perfectly even. It's not the end of the world. And once it's all stitched in, you've got all the elements of your design together. It really won't matter too much if they're not exact or perfect and if you look if you look at mine you won't have to look too closely to see that they're not all perfect so you keep making these little scallops in this way so I just show you that rounding them out again so you can see where I'm holding um, and I'm just going to do a combination of pushing them round pushing the scallops that I've already got round and pulling the wire round to get it to sit exactly where I want the scallop to sit okay so you carry on with those until you've got, just check, I've done loads of, loads of little pieces up in advance. Just check I've got the right one. So let's check I've got an even number. So one, two, three, four, five, six, 
seven, eight, yeah. So I've got eight scallops. The last two are sort of half scallops because they go up. So I've got six whole scallops and then these half ones either side that are going to go up the side of, of the cabochon. Okay, so that should hopefully fit on top of the frame that you've just made and we can start stitching that together. Now this bit is the trickiest bit because we want to hold everything in place whilst we get that first stitch in. So bear with it, this will be the trickiest bit of all. Um, I'm going to take a 0.4 wire, a nice long length. I'm going to go for about a metre because that'll be enough for me to work with and ensure I've got enough, um, enough wire. And I'm going to go to the centre of the wire and I'm just going to wrap it around these pieces here. Okay, so let me just get that roughly even, find the centre, take the centre around this section. We don't want to cinch it so close that these overlap, we want to keep them nice and flat. So the best way to do that is put your fingers, hold on with your finger and thumb over that join so that they don't, they're not tempted to jump over the top of each other. We we'll keep them nice and flat. So I'm going to wrap around a couple of times so that it's nice and secure. and then bring those wires to the back. Springy wire this. So you're going to bring those wires to the back, just like that. And then remember we've got an odd number here and we've got, so we've got either side of this central loop. If you bring the wires down the back, um, down the back of what will be the back of the pendant and up and over those two loops there, okay? So in between, in between the the sort of either side of that central loop. Then we pop our cabochon on. And because we've got those wires running across the back, that should sort of help us hold it in place. And then we're going to take this little section that we've made. Um, I didn't talk to you actually about shaping it. So let me just, before we get to that point, so your gemstone is obviously rounded. So what you want to do to give you, to help you out really before, before you put that on top is just... Oh, I'm getting all tangled up. Just take the edges, so this will be flat once you've done it. Just take the edges and just literally turn them up so that they're slightly curved. And you can see I've slightly curved this section here as well. Okay, so that will just give it a bit of, um, bit of definition so that when, it, when you pop it on top of the gem, it sort of hugs it rather than sits up flat. Okay, so I'm going to sandwich that gemstone in between. And like I said, this bit is the trickiest because sort of holding it in place before before it's all stitched together so we just make sure we're in the right place try and line up those sort of shell um, scallops with the spaces in between so once you're there we're going to just take take our 0.4 wire that you've taken down the back of the frame and you're going to go over and catch the frame and into one of those scallops or when that sits closest to that point and catch that in place and give it two wraps. We'll give it two wraps around to make it nice and secure. So there was one and there's our next one. So two wraps on that side and we do the same on the other side. And like I said, don't worry if it slips out of place a little bit at first, it will, you just have to be um, a little bit patient with it, that's all. So take your 0.4 wire through. If I turn it up that way, you'll see that it's going around from the back of the frame, around this first framework with the loops on and catching into those scallops. Okay. Now they won't perfectly line up because we, you know, we used um, different size mandrel to make the scallops to, we did to the loops and things like that. They won't perfectly line up, but you'll find definitely find very definite connection points where they do line up. So I've got those tied in now, so it's a little bit easier to work with. So then I can just bring my wires, um, I'm not gonna go straight across, what I'm gonna do is turn it over because we still need some support at the back. So instead of going straight to the next one, what we're gonna do is cross, it, cross the wires over one another so we get a little bit more support and bring it into the next space, okay? And that's gonna help support that gemstone a little bit more from the back. Okay, come back to the front 
um, and then I'm going to find the next point that connects. So can you see this scallop here is sitting perfectly between these two loops, so that's where I'm going to go next. Um, in between there, again, two stitches around the frame and around the scallop. There's one, and the second one, stitching in. Okay. I hope at home this is already feeling easier than it might have looked to start with because it looks like a really complicated project, I think, because of all the layers. But when you break it down like this, it's um, much easier. Okay, so I'm just pulling that nice and tight and see a bit of a loose wire. So sometimes you get a bit of a, um, bit of a gape in the wire. So what you need to do is just sort of give that a rock up and down and that'll cinch it in nice and tightly without sort of having to put too much pressure on on the wire. So there's two stitches in there. And then again, what I'm going to do is I'm going to cross my wire over again at the back. Again, this is all add-in security. So cross them over at the back and bring them to the next point. So I can, um, I can do this section here. So, so now we're going, we've gone beyond those little loops now, and now we're just literally stitching the scallops to the frame as tidily and as organized as we can, so as neat as we can. To there, to this side, and this is how, this is basically, we've done the setting now for the stone. Um, and if you still have a bit of concern about it being loose or vulnerable in any way, then there's nothing to stop you using that drill hole that's in the top to further secure it. So if you wanted to, you could just take a wire through um, and attach it to the frame either side to secure it even further. Okay, again, last crossover at the back then, so crossing those wires over at the back and doing that last little scallop onto the frame. Now, it's up to you. You can just do um, a couple of stitches. You can do the middle and then the sides. You don't have to do all of these. This is sort of really making very sure that everything's nice and secure. Okay, and then this last one and then we're ready to shape the top of this shell um, sort of case at the top. Okay, so there you go, that's, that's really nice and secure. Those little scallops are sort of supporting the gemstone from the front and the crisscross criss -cross wire is um, helping support the gemstone at the back. Um, so now we're gonna just put a little bit of decoration really just to finish these, these wires. So all I'm going to do is trim them off to about, so if we see where they cross over the centre here, and then we measure from there about two centimetres, that should give us enough to make a little spiral either side just to finish, finish this off nicely. So this time we're going to take just the tip of our round nose pliers, hold on to the tip of the wire, and a nice tight little spiral um, here, and spiral it down into position so that it sits sort of at the top um, and centrally. So you can uh, manipulate that a little bit more so that it sits more sort of on the side at the top of the gem. Okay, so there's one. We'll do the same on the other side. Okay. So you angle it however you need to to get these spirals. I mean, we all have funny ways of angling these and I'm trying to keep it in the camera very often I bring it up so that when my view of it is what your view is here so I'm looking directly onto the spiral um, as I'm working okay so there's there's our setting really for the front done I'm going to bring these um, wires up now and just to make sure that these little these little spirals are secure on the side again I'm going to take the wire across the back and catch those spirals with that 0.4 wire and get it through the frame there just to keep them snugly sat down. Okay, so the same with this one. Across the back, through the frame and let me see if I can get it from the front this time. Through the frame and through through the spiral. Um, you just get make a little bit more space, I think, just to get the wire through. There, 
there we go and that nap is that securely fastened to that frame as well okay so nothing's going to fall out now it's all very very tidy and we've got that nice um shell sort of define the shape of that shell or mimic the shape of that shell then um to keep that theme okay so next thing then we're gonna um you may find that it's a bit untidy at the top here so what you want to what you might want to do is just um take one of your one of these reconstituted i think it's i can't remember what the gems were but it's got a bit of pyrite in this lovely greeny greeny round um gems so pop this pop the wire so you're going to go one through one way one through the other bring that in and that should just sit there then centrally at the top of that shell okay so then to finish these wires um, for now we're just going to take them behind behind the neck wire what will be the neck wire and just wrap it once or twice just to keep that in place and out of the way for just now okay so that's that setting done then we're going to come on to creating this neckline piece so i'm going to bring in the neck piece that i've got this far um, with some of the beads already in so i've got this one here and you can see i've got my beads going up around my neck line here what will be my neckline piece here and um and i've got little loops in between so we do these as we go so what i'm going to do is add on one of my um little rounds one of my rounds here and let it drop down onto the wire and then i'm going to take my um bell makers i'm just going to check which one i used so which which joy is yet so i'm using the smallest one again if you're using your um pliers your round nose pliers then just pick a sec pick a point on the pliers and mark it so you get it the same every time and i'm going to pop that onto the wire and bring the wire around we're doing the same technique that we use to make those um, little loops at the bottom we're just going to put it into place to use a combination of rolling it um, and turning our wrists as, as well to get it where we want it okay so we've got one loop in okay once you've got a loop in you then take another bead and pop it into place and then we put another loop in and we just keep repeating that process until you've got as many as you want to go around the neckline now that is entirely up to you. In my first one I did, um, I've probably got about 10 or 12 either side. And in this one I got a bit less. Um, and it depends on how much wire you used to begin with. Remember we started with about a metre. Um, and that, that's going to give you um, sort of this size here. If you go up a little bit, you'll get a bigger, a bigger piece for the neckline. So you see, I'm just adding these on quicker and quicker now just to get us to the next stage. So there's one and put this next one in. Again, you know, don't worry if they go, if they're a little bit differently and the spaces are a little bit different between them or if you get one of your loops is a little bit wonky, don't worry too much. The next, the next part we do sort of does hide a lot of sins as well. So when we come to put on the tiny labradorites, um, that really sort of makes everything, all the design mesh together really nicely. And we'll hide some mistakes if you have any. Okay. All right, I'm just going to do one more because I think just you can see how that works. You just keep adding a gemstone, popping in a loop, adding a gemstone, popping in a loop until you've got as many on there as you like. I'm just going to add one more just to finish. Okay. Oh, wrong pliers. So put that last one in. Okay. So I'm going to leave a bit of a tail here. I probably haven't left myself enough here, but I'll leave a little bit there so we can do like a wrap loop at the end where we finish. But basically, this is the foundation of our necklace. We now build on this and add little sections to really enhance it. So first thing I'm going to do, I haven't put my little bead on this one, have I? Let's put that on first before we go any further. So just like I did before, put a little bead in the centre just to sort of frame it. It also hides any 
little messy wire work that you've got in the middle perhaps. So we just pop this on, taking the wire, the ends of the wire either side through. Now if you haven't got much 0.4 wire left, um, then I would recommend adding it now at this stage um, to do, because we ideally want to keep the same, amount, same piece of wire to do the whole of the neckline. Um, it's better to add it at the centre than it is to add sort of halfway down because it is only 0.4 wire and we'd have to bind it off and then bind a new piece on which can create a bit of a bulk. So at this stage you might think, right, I haven't got enough to do the rest of it so I'm going to trim this off and add another piece in and I would add about a metre um, so that you've got 50 centimetres to work with on this side and 50 centimetres to work with on this side and then you'll be really safe. So I would suggest doing that. I'm not going to do that because I've only got a little bit to do. So, um, but I would suggest, I would recommend doing it. Right, now we're going to add in our bits of Labradorite. So these are teeny tiny little Labradorites. And so the trickiest bit about this is threading them on. So a little trick is to take them off with your fingers. So you're not going to see much of this because it's going to stay in my fingers. And this is the, this is the tip I want to show you. So I'm going to take, I want, say, four or five threaded on at a time. So I'm just going to lay them across my finger on the string, hold my thumb over the top, and then pull the string out um, whilst they're in there, and then thread through. Now, it's difficult for me to show you in the studio doing this technique, but you will find it easier to find the gemstones, even when you can't see it, than uh, find the drill holes. Um, if you hold them between your thumb and finger like that, then you will sort of pick them up on the mat. Um, if you are doing it on a mat, then I recommend a dark mat to work on because you see the holes much easier. Okay, but putting them between your thumb and finger will, will help to do that. Okay, so I've got one um, section here. So what I'm going to do is take it over the gemstone. So we're just doing the middle for a minute. Over the gemstone and just bring it back up to the top. We'll do the same on this side. So let's see if we can do it this way now. See if we can see the drill holes in the studio. <sighs> Tricky. Um, so we want about four or five each time. Each time we do um, one of these as we go around this, this section. Let's see. Right, let's get this last. Let's try and get one more on <laughs> this side. Mm -hmm. the, they're tiny, and but that is part of why they're so beautiful. So you um, you can't complain really because they're so lovely. Right, so that's my centre bit done. So I've just literally got the wires back up, and I've just sort of surrounded that center stone. So now what we do is basically we're going to do like a scallop edge of, of the Labradorite all the way around. So we're going to do that same, same thing. Let's see which side I'm on. Take a section into your fingers like that and then take your wire and run it through. Hopefully if you haven't moved around too much in your fingers you should be able to just run that through where the thread path was. It's much, much easier doing it like that than trying to thread them from the mat. And you will drop a few, um, but it still takes much less time to do it that way. So let's see. It's about five or six stones each time. So what we do is we just go around like that. We just want them to sit around the top, hug the top of the gemstone. We literally take it through. It hooks that side of the loop so the loops help it to hug in place and then we get the wire around the back again and we do it again so let's do a couple of those to show you the effect okay so again taking it off between my fingers try and keep nice and still so that you can find that thread path that thread path through okay and and you know, if you thread too many on, don't unthread them. So if I thread too many on, I'll show you how to work it. Because the worst thing is like threading, threading the load on, thinking, oh no, I've done too many. And then taking them off, it feels, it's uh, soul destroying doing that, having to take them off when you spend so long getting them on. So 
basically if you just do if you do too many um, take them around the gemstone like that if you've got too many just let them just let them slip down the wire a little bit okay and you can use them on the next bit so again hook it in hook the wire in behind that next loop along and then back up to the top and you've got your two that you had too many on there and you can just add more you just keep going like that then just scalloping those all the way around and along the top and they just sort of sandwich and nestle look like the little beads are nestled into them rather than rather than looking like they're surrounding it they just sort of look like one solid unit don't they all together okay so that's that's that that's how you create the, the main of the necklace and so now we've got to look at making the little bits that dangle and um, so part of that is um, we're going to make some head pins so we're going to make our own head pins with the 0.4 wire um, and have those as little attachments so I'm going to take some 0.4 wire I'm just going to cut a section off here um, and then we're going to use round nose pliers and we're going to create a little knot at the end, but a knot without any spiky bit. Okay, okay. so uh, what we do is we take it, hold it quite loosely. We don't want to do this tight, we want this quite loose. So just loosely take the wire around, around the pliers like that. So you've got a loop. And then take the little tail, wrap it around oh. itself. Okay. Mm -hmm. So about, I'm going to do about three, three wraps around. Perfect. And then I'm going to trim off nice and close to the wire like that. And then what you do, you can use your fingernails or you can use, depends how strong they are, you can use some pliers. Just hold on and not, you're not gripping, you're just creating like a stop so it can't slide. And just pull through. And you see how that wire pulls ah, inside itself? Lots like that. So it's pulled inside itself, you've got a little knot, but the sharp end is at the top so it won't, okay. won't get you. So that's how you make your little knotted head pins. So I've just done lots of sections of those with um, three or four of my little labradorites how in place. How many head pins did you do? Um, how many have I done? Mm, I can't, I have to have to count One, them up. Two, Can you see? Three, four of them, and then you've done, oh no, because well, then you've got them five, six, seven. Seven on each side. So I've got the, them in this, so there I've got the little head pins, um, made the head pins for the drops, but also all the way around the neckline. You see I've got uh, little clusters, yes, yes. just the little drops of Labradorite around, um, and those hang on off of all the loops around the neckline. So it's adding lots of movement and texture. Okay, so there's my, there's my head pin um, made, and I've added about five five chips along there okay and then what I'm going to do is make hang those from these little loops now because it's 0.4 wire you need to make a wrap loop so it's secure so to make a wrap loop I've put my pliers in place above the gemstones there above that the gemstone cluster and I've just you see I've just tilted the wire off to the side and then I'm going to make a loop okay so I've got my loop ready, but don't close it. You've got to put it in place first. So I've got a little loop there. And what I'm going to do is pop it into one of the loops. So I've gone for, um, I think, hold on, let me just turn. Yeah, I've gone for the Labradorite first, so the little Labradorite clusters first. So take it into that loop. You see why I leave a nice long tail? Because it is much easier when you've got a nice long tail to grab hold of when doing these sort mm. of things. So you're going to pop that loop into the loop into the loop on your neckline piece. Hold it nice and tight. So that's going to create a nice shape loop. Um, by doing that forming first, nice shape loop to work with. Hold on to the loop so it doesn't distort. And then take that 0.4 wire and wrap it around around above those gemstones okay so that's wrapped in there once you've got it wrapped in you can then just trim it trim that excess wire away and you've probably got enough there to make another head pin with that piece okay so that's that's those little dangles that's how to create those of course if you've got head pins uh, micro or featherweight head pins in your stash of course you can use those instead um, 
but that's if you haven't got any you want to make your own that's how you would do it so we are going to hang we will hang one of those off of every other loop in our neckline okay and then we'll want like you said i think four or five for the bottom here as well but you can make that up as you go along what you dangle off the bottom okay i'm going to show you how to make all the components and you can configure it however you like so i think the next component i need to show you how to make is a little sort of what you said were um wax y cones so the tiny little spirals um a conical shape and i was sort of mimicking the conch shell when i did these um, wax y cones are brilliant for making your cones but they can um, be a little bit on the large side for little, uh, little projects like this. So this is how you do it with your round nose pliers. So I've got a piece of, not, of my one millimetre of wire and I'm going to just trim off the end so I've got a nice flush end and then I'm going to hold on with the tip of my round nose pliers and I'm going to twist around a loop, okay? Now, instead of, um, so I'm gonna make sure that it comes underneath as I go around. So if I turn around, can you see how that's now sort of spiraling down? Okay, so I hold on, pull around, hold on, pull around. Now, I'm keeping the distance between them fairly even, but I am spiraling more like a helter-skelter, so not really close together, okay? So I'm, Keeping the distances between the loops, between the spirals, quite even, but I want to get all the way down to the bottom there, okay? So once I'm there, you can say, that doesn't look anything like yours, Gem, but what we do now is we leave a bit of a tail um, and we cut, we're going to cut it so that we've got about a centimetre beyond where we made that spiral. And then I'm going to take my round nose pliers and make a loop. So this is going to be the loop that we attach into our piece. Okay. So now I'm going to hold across that loop with my um, flat nose pliers. I'm just going to push it sort of into the centre. So we're spiralling it slightly in. Okay. So we've decreased the spiral on the top. And that loop is now sort of central in that spiral. And then what we do is we, we sort of crush the spiral up, okay? So we're just pushing it together, okay? Pushing the, the little bits of the spiral together, sort of like closing up a spring, okay? So you can use your pliers if you, if you want to, if your fingers aren't feeling strong enough. Just closing them up, trying to keep the distance between each of the coils sort of even, okay? But that is how you're creating these little spirals. Now you can make them slightly bigger um, by doing um, less of a space in between each of the spirals or doing more at the top. But that's basically how we make, how we make these little coils to hang along the neckline, okay? And then these are really easy because they've got that loop at the top that you've created. You just give that a bit of a wiggle to get it into position. Because they've got that loop at the top, you just open it up like you would a jump ring. So I just twisted that open, and then you just pop it into the loop and close it up. Okay, so that's how you make those little those little sections. So again, you do those all the way along there, and then I think we've got if we want to make those into connectors. So let me show you how to do that as a connector. Because if we look at this, oh, oh, sorry, I moved it then, Bruce. Um, if we look at, I wanted to look at these little connectors if that's fine. <laughs> I don't know where Emma's gone. Emma's gone. Where were She's you? Left us. <laughs> she was drinking wine out the back. Yeah. Right, so if we look at these little bits, this is what I'm trying to show you. So you see, we've got these little conch shells, but I've done them more as connectors. So they've got a loop at the bottom and at the top. Okay, so we just, it's just slightly different when we do those. But I think it's worth taking you through that again anyway. Because Emma wasn't paying attention, so she needs to see it again. Emma. It's <laughs> always right. one. So, dip the pliers, um, and we're going to make a loop here. This time we're going to do a couple of nice close together um, coils around before we go on to making the rest of the shell, so that we've got one of these loops left to make it into a connector and then we're going to spiral around the pliers this time i'm going to do the gaps a little bit closer together so we get a more elongated 
shell. So they're a little bit closer together, but they're still spiralling around like a helter-skelter around the pliers. Okay, so we're going to go all the way up to the end. When we get to the end, we'll do a couple of wraps around so it's a bit sort of heavier towards the end. Trim off again so that we can make a little loop here. So at the top end, so that we can hang it like we did in the around the necklace, we just make a little loop, little loop at the top, and we'll again turn. So you're holding it and turning it in so that it sits at the centre rather than off on the side. So you just turn in. What that does just tightens the spiral slightly, helps it sit in the middle. And then at this end where we did that extra, so we've got a bit of an extra piece here, and just get your nail in to help separate it. And then all you do is take that first loop and you just twist it upwards. And then that gives you a little loop at the end as well. So you've got an, a loop each end there to connect. And then again, just squish those spirals closer together um, and then evenly space them out. So you've then got a connector so you can connect this end and this end so we can create those more cascady um, style pieces and then the very last component you'll need to make this up is the other the spiraled head pin which is really really simple um, but just in case you've never seen it before um, this is how you do it so we're going to take round those pliers I've got a little bit of one millimeter wire here this is great for using all the little bits that you've cut off so all these little bits that you've cut off throughout your project, these really help for these little head pins. So again, tip of the pliers to the tip of the wire and hold on tight and start to coil that around. Now this time, instead of going down the pliers, we're going to come make the spiral come out, so um, like a licorice wheel, if you remember those. So what we do is we pull the wire around so that it sits outside the, the central central circle and if I now once I've got to this point I've got nearly two coils all the way around to take you flatten those pliers and hold on around and then you pull the wire around to get a spiral okay once you've got that spiral we then hold on to the wire get those pliers right in as close to the spiral as you can and then tip it so it's like I suppose it looks like a lollipop okay so you've got the spiral sitting centrally on that straight wire and the last thing we do pop the bead in place and then we just put a little loop at the top so I kink the wire over to the side to give us a, a good start on that loop cut the wire to about a centimetre round those pliers and wrap and turn so you've got a little loop and then you've got another little element. So if I add that one to add that one, okay, you can pop that in. And then if we just, we'll just do it while we're here, we just attach that to one of these little loops at the bottom. And like I said, that's all the techniques I've used, I've, I've talked you through. And you can sort of configure that however you like now. Um, at the ends here, just a little wrap loop to finish off. Um, so that you can attach, I've attached a bit of chain um, to the back of mine just to give it a bit more diversity in terms of length and that's it. Perfect. <sighs> Thank you so much Gemma. You're welcome. Amazing. I hope you recorded that. If not, don't worry, it will go of course across to YouTube. So a little reminder of the kit. How many, what, have we even got any left? Oh, we're single figures of each of them, so please do make sure of all of them. So please make sure you're very quick. I've got a strand of Laramar that was just given to me coming up at five o'clock. We've got straight after the break coming up. Which one? Which one? The And this one here. Oh, stop. Why didn't you say me? That's my favourite. I absolutely <laughs> love the gemstone happiness that's coming up. Straight after the break, the Laramar's coming up at five. I'll be back in a couple of hours. Gemma will be back in an hour's time. We've got the gorgeous Rebecca Redican taking you into the next hour. Um, who's the other guest as well? So we've Debbie. got Gemma and Debbie. Debbie Kershaw. Debbie, yeah. Debbie Kershaw. Oh, we did the exact again. same last time, didn't we? <laughs> uh, so do make sure you stay tuned. We have got so much lined up for you today. Uh, just so my director knows I cannot hear him properly. Uh, you can get involved on the phones. You 
can get involved on the, on the line at jewelrymaker.com or if you haven't done so already, take time during the break to download our app. It's free in all the usual app stores. I'll see you in a couple of hours. Owning a strand of genuine gemstones is always exciting, but being able to use it in your handcrafted jewellery, then passing it on to its new owner with proof of its authenticity is even more incredible. Why not add one of our printed authenticity cards to your order and share that same feeling with your customers? You can also access online authenticity certificates through items you've previously purchased by looking at your order history on your account details. The certificate gives you valuable information about your purchase and is your guarantee of quality and peace of mind from Jewelry Maker. Hi Jewelry Makers, my name is Mark. I'm the Managing Director of Jewelry Maker. When we took over Jewelry Maker earlier this year, I was absolutely blown away by the incredible talent that was coming through on our Wall of Fame competition. And this is taking Wall of Fame to a whole new level. From the 1st of July, every quarter, Steve and myself are going to have a look at all of the entries on Wall of Fame, and we are going to choose the most exceptional piece and put that into production. What we will do is we will produce those pieces and if you are chosen as the winner, you will get free of charge 10 of those pieces sent through for you as a congratulations for you being that quarter's winner. I cannot wait to see the fantastic inspiration that comes in from our customers and at the end of September I'll be live on your screens announcing the winner. So please get your entries into the email address below and I will update you at a later time as to what day that will be and I look forward to seeing you all then. Thank you very much. Jewelry Maker, Create, Wear, Share. Jewelry Maker course gift vouchers are now available. You can choose from a bronze, silver or gold voucher. Each voucher is worth a different amount that entitles you to book towards a course of your choice. For more information, contact our call centre on 0800 644 655. Jewelry Maker. Create. Wear. Share. If you have a question or query for Jewelry Maker, then contact our call centre on 0800 644 655 and press option 2. Email help at jewelrymaker.com or drop us a message on our Facebook page. Did you know that when you book a Jewelry Maker workshop, you're given exclusive access to our Jewelry Maker shop? You can browse through special items and offers, be privy to selected discounts and deals that you can't get at any other time. Shop whilst you learn and grab yourself some amazing offers. For more information on workshops and available dates, contact our call centre. Are you new to jewellery making? Not sure where to start? Then tune into Jewellery Maker every Thursday at 6pm for our Get Started Hour. One of our fantastic designers will be showing you basic techniques, giving you lots of hints and tips, bringing you one of our specially designed kits for newbies and showing you step-by-step -step demonstrations to get you started on your jewellery making journey. Get started with Jewellery Maker every Thursday at 6pm.
Welcome to Jewelry Maker Heidi. Hi. What's that from? Heidi. Hi. Ding. Oh, it's from Heidi. Hi. Yes, it is. Ding, 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 ding. And it's lovely to be with you. Hey, how was your weekend? Go on. Tell all. Was it good? Did you have a nice one? Was it restful? Did you enjoy a little bit of sun on the Sunday? I had a barbecue. Yeah, I did, I did. I've had more barbecues this year than I'd normally squeeze into a couple of years. Um, but yeah, no, we had one on the Saturday and it was rather delicious. Proper, you know, when you properly look after it, you're doing the whole marinade -y thing, add some sweet potatoes on there, a bit of cauliflower steak. What? It was delicious. Anyway, I hope you had a fab time. Hi, how are you? My name is Rebecca Redican, but you can call me Becky. And it is my absolute pleasure today to say hello, wonderful Debbie Cashel. Hello. How are you? <laughs> I'm good. How are you? Yeah, good. You're getting all your bits together. I'm getting my bits together quick in this new format, the quick changeover. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Clean the dust. Yeah. Get the stuff out. Yeah. Get the mic on. I'm here. I'm ready. Um, in your hand, <gasps> brand new. Right, tell us about these. These are brand spanking new, coming up in the kids. Gem set, head pins in sterling silver. Tell us about them. Oh, you get 10 in each kit. And in the first colourway, you get Labradorite. I said it properly. <laughs> nice. <laughs> you get and in the other one, it's Moonstone, isn't it? I think mm. the other one's Moonstone. Mm. And they're amazing. I mean, I just immediately cut them down and made earrings, you know, stud earrings. Yes. Yeah. And they're just gorgeous. So I've tried to, to be a bit creative with them. But it's very exciting. I've not seen these before. I think they're new. Yeah, as far as I've never seen them before either, I think they're new too. First kit, we've got Labradorite and then we've got Rose Quartz, Rose but quartz, I see right. why you think Moonstone, right. because it's such good quality that the silver actually shines through. It looks like it's chatoyancy, doesn't it? It really does. It really does. I can't wait to show you. Do you know what? I'm going to give you a little peep of one straight off the bat. Look at these. They are absolutely next level deliciousness. They are just sublime, brand, brand, brand new. This is a luxury kit because I'm also bringing you sterling silver featherweight head pins and genuine gemstones in them. It's a luxury kit, it's a boutique kit. It's coming with a demo in just a few, about 15 mins. Um, before that, let me introduce you to some stunning stones. We are lucky enough to be able to bring you plenty of different varieties of citrine and what I'm going to bring to you now is one of the richest in the world. When I look at this I instantly think that mandarin rich colour of citrine that has sometimes high end double figures of connotated per carat. That colour for me absolutely sings of its location. To be able to bring to you Rio Grande do Sol Citrine is something that is so infrequent. This is a really difficult gemstone to get. It's really difficult um, for a few different reasons, but it's the mining location itself that I think of when I see these bursts of almost mandarin hue and you've got that undertone of those rich reds. It looks like a sunset, doesn't it, over how you might imagine it to look in Brazil in this really unique location. When we get this quality of natural colour, it's almost like burning embers in a fire. And that fiery light nature is complete with that centralised glow. When you're looking at that centralised glow, can you see how actually that glow inside has also got those sunset hues? Sometimes it doesn't, does it? Sometimes it's not sunset hues, sometimes it's almost clear, sometimes it's pure white, but not with these. Can you see that almost smouldering flame hue with these? Now, this is a very distinctive location. Collectors, you're already in. You're already putting these in your basket. You're already having a little think about these. You understand that when we're getting it from this state in Brazil, that is um, uh, Rio Grande do Sul, you know that you are getting a very successful location. You know that you are getting that wealth of colour that a lot of locations don't offer unless treated. But if you're all about that natural colour, those brand new flames of hues, this is the one for you. I will let you know I've got low stock. 
I've got seriously low stock now. I have now got 16. This has only been on air once before. A lot of the collectors were in, they grabbed it then. You might have not been available on that day. You may well just be seeing this for the first time. I'm actually gonna mimic that launch price. It's not something we necessarily should do or have to do, but we wanted to today because I've only got 16, so this is basically a clearance price. So we're gonna do this as if, well, it is last of stock, true last of stock deal. I've already got people coming in for this one. You're checking out, well done. 30 nine pounds and 95 pence for you today on that luscious bright sunshine hue of that unique and distinctive location got some designer inspiration for you here because it's the same sort of shape different stone but same shape that you could recreate this kind of look and imagine obviously they're greens aren't they but imagine how that wonderful natural Rio Grande hue of sunlight is going to beam on the wrist line okay I'm now very low stock. Well done to Davina, Stephanie, Mandy, Kay, Karen. I've got a collector coming through for this one. Nice work to you. People on the telephones, you've got it in your baskets. I am now into my single figures. Single figures I've got now. These are ticking out fast. You've still got time if you want to grab these. One thing I will say to you too is you know, we get such a minimal amount of, of uh, yields from this general location that this is so scarcely seen. If you've not got any of this in your collection, I know I don't, now is definitely your chance. And if you want that brightness and virosity of colour, that is the stone for you. A huge well done. Still a couple available, but not that many, so it's fastest finger first right now. That is just going to make you smile when you get it home, that gemstone of happiness. I'm going to stick with the same stone now but it's a whole different feel this is a completely different look and this for me is all about that cut so the shape of these if you will it's got sort of a rounded shape but then we've etched into these and cut these so that you get this really on trend very dynamic cut it gives something a little bit different gives something a little bit unusual and the light that bursts from these is so so unique this is obviously a rounded shape, but if I just hold out sort of section for you, you might be able to see what I mean about that etching, about that carving. It gives it a little bit more pizzazz, doesn't it? It gives it a little bit more life, maybe you might say. Again, it is completely natural that Rio Grande is a soul. And when we are individually hand cutting and hand carving these, we take the greatest respect to make them all even in the way that they look. And I don't just mean in, in the colour of them, I do mean in that cut. You've got these wonderful angles which add a little bit more light. And for us who love sparkle, when you're giving more light to someone, you're giving them something more beguiling, more bedazzling, more maybe enticing even to look at. So if you love sparkle and you want to add this wonderful stone from this unique location to your collection, this is your time to do so. Pick up the phone and dial now if you want these or join us on jewelrymaker.com because I am going to do another price discount from £40, which for this location so rarely seen is fantastic and it truly is. We are going to go further down now though. We're giving you a discount deal today, 70 full carats of that unique cut at just £12.95. More affordable for you today with that brightness and that unique cut. I love the cut on this. Debbie, I've seen you peering at this. <laughs> Tell me what it is about the cut that you adore so much. I just think that the way they're cut it just makes the sparkle seem more, doesn't it? So totally you sort agree. Of take the light inside and just refract it out, and I absolutely love that. Mm. So when you move and you jewellery moves, you get that gorgeous play of light on the stones. They're gorgeous. They're like sunshine in a gem strand, aren't they? They really are, just like owning sunshine itself. I've got so many multi-buyers in on this one. Good work to you. It's that beautiful light interaction that's just going to... If you wear this along the decolletage, as that light sort of shimmers, it has to go somewhere, doesn't it? The light doesn't just hit the surface and then it dissipates. It hits the surface and then it will reflect on whatever is around it. So if you've got this on your decolletage, you're going to get this beautiful um, sort of glow around the neckline from that light work that takes place on the surface. A little bit like, do you remember when you were younger and you used to play the buttercup game? I don't know, <laughs> game's a bit far-fetched, but do you like butter? And you put a buttercup underneath your chin and apparently if you 
liked butter, then it would it would sort of glow under your skin yellow, wouldn't it? Um, it's that kind of look that this is going to give you, that really beautiful, radiant, highlighted look to give you that sort of youthful glow. And it's all in a natural gemstone from this rarely seen location at $12.95. Now, I did have more of these, thankfully, because if I'd have had the same quantity as I did with this beauty of a strand, then um, we would have sold out a long time ago, especially, and that's even just with the multi buyers. But loads of you through for these ones. Good work. I have one more strand from this location, and that's it. I don't have any more in the show. That is it. That's your lot. Um, I'm, I've never brought you this much citrine from this location ever before. Now, these ones are luxury in their size. And for me, when I'm looking at this, I'm instantly wanting to pair it with the one you've just bought because I've got my main storyline and then I've got my chorus, if that makes sense. I think a little ones like this is kind of the melody, one and underneath, and then that bit in the song where it kind of, you know, it all kicks in and all of the music happens and you get that really catchy lyric that always grabs your ear, it grabs your attention, it sticks in your head. That's what these are like to me. These are the focal. These are the chorus to your gemstone necklaces or your gemstone bracelets even. I've got exactly 30 of these off the bat now. They have been on air before, but they were very popular. We are going to roll these down for you today, another discount. For the size of these, that's going to really grab the attention. This is the stone that's going to have all your friends turning heads to have a little look at what you're wearing. 12 mil and they're 14 pounds and 95 pence for you. It's interesting because for me, when I think of big bold jewellery, my head naturally goes to winter. I always think about me and my big heavy knitwear and I'm wearing bigger gemstones. But actually at the moment, I'm definitely wearing bigger gemstones. You know, if you're out seeing your friends, you're studying your meter two meters distance you want your gemstones to kind of sing don't you you want your gemstones to be able to be seen even from you know the other side of a table that's what you've got with these you've got that statement you've got that status you've got that boldness the only thing you haven't got is the price tag which is why it's a great time to get involved now because if you leave it too long then they will go back up to 40 pounds from 40 pounds to 14 pounds 95 today a huge well done okay Big news time, it's the kit. Before I say anything else, I just need to make you very, very, very aware. I've got good stock on this kit. That means two things. Number one, that means for all of you who are hoping, hoping, wishing, wishing that you can get your hands on these brand new, never before seen head pins, you've got a chance. With that said though, we are well aware that elements like this are always going to be popular. And also with the quantity being mentioned, you know that when we've got good quantity, we give you good deals, right? Because if we've got really good quantity, more often than not, it means that we've been able to up our minimum order on something and therefore we've got a better price per item. That is exactly what has happened with these. These are absolutely sublime. It is solid sterling silver. All of that length, all of that housing is solid sterling silver. All of that detailed, almost lace-like work that ripples around these and frames the individual hand-carved stones is solid sterling silver. Now, my graphics are coming live. The graphics are live, that might means you can buy now. I know you want to have a little look at what's around this and I will show you as quickly as I can because I want everyone to have a fair shot. So, brand new for you today. You can't currently buy these anywhere else my full stock is in the kit these ones by themselves 23.95 if they do go live by themselves 23.95 by themselves I've also got all of these head pins yes again solid sterling silver and these are our luxury featherweight head pins. They're the luxury ones because they're the lovely straight ones. They've got really nice intrinsic value and strength to them, yet they will go through some of the uh, tiniest drill holes, even on the likes of some of your diamonds. You are getting a huge amount in those. You are going to be getting a whopping amount of those ones. It's a really, really serious amount. Um, I wouldn't say you get 100, but for some reason it's not on my list, but it's around that not stopping there we want you to make full sets of jewelry i've got in here the likes of your clasps your head pins and so much more and then we don't even stop there i am going to be bringing to you with this collection your black spinel now let me just double check is it these head pins sorry b diddy that you're getting with this one da, 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 da. it is it is it is it is 
So we have got for you quality upon quality. So it's Labradorite head pins that you're gonna get with these. It is the quality upon quality that you're getting with them. And um, as, as you know, we said before, these are brand new elements that we know everyone's gonna get, wanna get their hands on. The spinel itself works so beautifully alongside this jewelry, and I can't wait for you to see what Debbie's made with them because you're just gonna love it even more. But for now, you know what you're getting. You're gonna be getting 10 head pins with great quality Labradorite within them. You're gonna be getting around about 100, I think, of your featherweight head pins. Yeah, 100 it is. You're gonna be getting an added sterling silver findings pack and a genuine gemstone. The head pins by themselves, 23 pounds and 95 pence if they are to be sold by themselves that's the price of those ones alone if they are to be sold by themselves I'm gonna to have to talk quicker because there's so many of you checking out the RRP on this and that is before uh, because that already is a discount so the price of everything when it first starts off before any discounts have been done in the last 30 days the RRP on this is 56 pounds 80 56 pounds 80 this should be there have been price discounts done on some of these things for example the fine things pack on shows in the last 30 days or even on the web we take that into account that's already a discount deal from 56 pounds 80 but i am not stopping there people who know people who know they want this and know we're going to give them a great price are already in you're checking it out because you know everybody pays the final closing price for you today remember 23.95 just for these 29 pounds and 95 pence for the whole kit and caboodle. How much would you expect these to be? Maybe 12.95, maybe 9.95 would be a really good price on these ones. So already, your price is covered there and you're getting a discount, even just for those two elements. But on top of that, you're getting the fine things pack and the spinel. I don't think anybody expected us to go that low. So many of you in. Hi, Glenda. I've got lovely Rain in. I've got Diane in. Hello to Davina. Mo's in. Mandy's in. Lynette's in. Hello to Sue. I've got collectors coming in from Bristol and South Yorkshire. Well done to you. Loads of you have already checked out that, that <laughs> the people with it in their baskets are going up and up and up and up and up. I told you that price before when we played yeah. Guess the Price of the Kit game, yeah. and you were blown away. You didn't guess that. No, because what you've got to think about as well, and you'll see this when you look at the jewellery, you've got 100 featherweight head pins, but that essentially is sterling silver wire. Yeah. So when you see, like if I show you the I bracelet, bracelet that bracelet. I've made and the ring out of the head pins. Now, I actually spoke to Georgia when we put this kit together both of us and my feeling behind it was luxury the sort of thing that I would sell or used to sell at craft fairs mm. now this bracelet is just bobbing off the end of the featherweight head pins and using them as rosary links so this is a sterling silver and black spinel bracelet and then I've got the labradorite as a charm and then I've made a ring just with the elastic um, as well now I would sell that for between 35, depending which craft fair I was at, and 45 pounds on its own. So that's one piece of jewelry. That's one piece of jewelry. And when you see the rest, I've tried to go very wearable, very elegant, the sort of sterling silver jewelry that you could wear every day, you could go day to night. I just, I had an amazing time with this kit. You can tell that you have, and I think you can tell because you, first off, you've made a whole heap of jewelry. Oh yeah. And second off, it's a very you selection of jewellery in the sense of it's very wearable, mm -hmm. it's very saleable as yeah, well. Yeah. I mean, you haven't gone, you know, you haven't been sparing with your gemstones on a lot of these either. You've got no. a full bracelet, full rings there with yep. your gemstones of black spinel. I mean, I've added chain. Mm -hmm. um, that chain there is just from my stash. But I was on a show the other day with Jenny and we were selling chains here for £4 yeah. for sterling silver chains. Yeah. So that piece that you're looking at there, very wearable. What you'll see that I've done is use sterling silver, um, what are they called? Jump, jump rings. rings. <laughs> I'm making the jump ring sign with my hand. Yes. I've also um, soldered and hammered some bits of sterling silver wire, but obviously I don't expect everyone to be able to, to be a silversmith. You can do any of these shapes with just wire. Yeah, of course. You know, wrap loop and hammer. Yeah. It's just astonishing the amount you have created there. And there's so many of you through for these. Good luck to every single one of you. I have an alternate colorway. Tell us a little bit about the feel of this colorway for you. 
I love it because I think like the black colorway was very breakfast at Tiffany's, very Audrey Hepburn, very sophisticated. So you like my daughter would wear it, my nan would wear it, I would wear it. Mm -hmm. um, this you've got like red, but it's a dark red. It's a very wearable red, and I just absolutely loved it. And I just think it gives it a slightly different look. So with this necklace, I've chosen to actually use the head pins as silver and just hammer them and just you know use that luxury of having the silver in there and you know sterling silver necklace I'd, I'd sell that at a craft fair with a sterling silver chain you know on the sides for about 55 60 pounds oh and they would be snapped up easy peasy yeah and i'm not talking about like the school craft fair i mean like a proper artisan craft where yes. people go for unusual handmade items yeah. so all i'm seeing is the amount of profit you can make if you make to sell but if you're making for gifts wow like christmas gifts birthday gifts anniversary gifts if you don't even know somebody's style of jewelry too much i tried to just be classic with it mm. i mean the amount of silver that must be in that one piece we're looking at now is epic and that's not just using the sterling silver wire which you've you've created out of the head pins yeah. but also with the amount of head pins you've used as drops exactly with the amount of the head pins that are large framed head pins there's so much silver in this um, and of course, the silver with the brand new head pins. Now, these are the rose quartz, and you will see what we mean when we say it was almost hard to know whether or not, uh, you know, it was moonstone. Yeah. The glow that emits from these is because it's rose quartz crystalline. So you're getting that really beautiful glow within this. And unlike the other ones that have got kind of the rainbow color, um, these ones have got almost a peach. It's hard to see in this light situation, probably because it's so glossy and they're so good quality. But get those home to see that wonderful colour. And speaking of wonderful colour, this garnet. I have got 60 carats worth of this rich, vibrant garnet. Now, this one is very popular too. It's your sweet Valentine collection. The price has rolled down again. And we've done it again to match the previous of $29.95. For me... I would most certainly be taking the chance to grab this kit, knowing full well as I do that the head pins alone are $23.95. For a few extra pounds, I'm getting 100 sterling silver head pins, the featherweight ones, or, you know, let's say, well, it would be well over, what, two meters maybe of sterling silver wire? It'd actually probably be a bit more than that, wouldn't it? Because these are about 40 mil in length, uh, or four centimeters, if you will. So you're getting 100 of those. That's close to four meters, isn't it? Closer to. Um, but you know, even just with that in mind, with the head pins and the, the cost of those, let alone the gemstones and the additional findings, this is incredibly popular indeed. Let us know who's grabbing it. Let us know what you're planning on doing with these. Which ones of Debbie's are you going to be recreating or have you got some ideas of your own? Text us in. It's 60777. Uh, so it says with the word James Studio. Also, if you text Savvy, you can do it on jewelrymaker.com. Do feel free to get in touch with us today and let us know what you'll be whipping up with yours those head pins you're going to fall in love with these earrings that i've got in are just so comfortable i kind of forgot that i had them in but i keep seeing them flash as i'm moving my head they're so beautiful and it's literally just with two of those head pins should we get crafting let's do it out of the plethora of makes you could have made because <laughs> yeah. you've done so much oh. you've opted for this wonderful swishing necklace yeah i thought that maybe people would like to see how to manipulate the head pins maybe do something a little bit different mm. um so i thought we'd, we'd kind of work with that oh the air conditioning's come on mm. Mm. <gasps> lovely right so obviously what you'll need for this is a hammer and a block so that you can manipulate the head pins now what i did was counted out my head pins and you get 10 and I wouldn't have even attempted to hammer these if they weren't really good quality because they would just break and, and be brittle. So I was really impressed with the actual quality of these head pins. So if I bring the necklace over here, I took three of my head pins out of the kit for my necklace straight away. And then I took a further two just to literally make stud earrings out of because you know that's a stud earring how much would you charge for that with the i mean i know what how long that would take to make to actually put that little stone mm. into that bezel or much longer than i would like to uh, 
admit when you can just buy them like that so yeah. if you want to make your stud earrings all you want to do is get an existing earring measure it just cut it off with some flush cutters and then maybe go round it with a file or an emery board would do just to make sure you don't have any sharp edges and then just pop on your butterfly back and you have literally got a pair of Stimulus. earrings there so that's it's job amazing done. when you think that plain stud earrings without the gemstone yeah. in, you can easily get them on the high street around £12 yeah. for that size with no gemstones at all. Yeah, just like dot, little Tiny studs. Tiny little. Yeah. yeah. So, I, you know, that's why I did straight away because I thought that, you know, anyone would wear that. So I'm going to bring my block in and I'm going to show you how I made the head pins. Okay, so round nose pliers a hammer and a block and can I just make sure that I'm in shot please ah there we are oh, yeah, excuse my block you can see it's well worn can't you <laughs> how long have you had that for approx this block yeah oh yeah eight years maybe good going but you know they, I've got they a last. couple I've got a few yeah. but you know I try and bring my nice one but you know it makes a mess so what I did was I decided that I'd like to make some little kind of swirls on my head pin so you just get your round nose pliers and take your head pin inside the drawers and just use your fingers to manipulate the shape that you're wanting. Now remember, if I put that there, remember to leave enough room at the top to turn a loop because you need to be able to attach that to your necklace. Now when you actually go to hammer, your head pin make sure that you don't hammer it with your little gemstone actually on the block because you're going to shatter it so mm -hmm. the best way to do this is just bring your gemstone off of the block there and I usually use the ball part of my hammer and I just go in to add some texture I was working with um, Lucy the other day and she said she'd forgotten how noisy my shows are when she's on with me so I'm usually hammering something sorry yeah, I remember when you used to do uh, your workshops and it was like Santa's little helpers. <laughs> ding, 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 ding. Oh, Debbie's in a workshop. <laughs> a little bit of tinkering. So once you've actually hammered that and you've got sort of a, a, a nice little texture going on and then you want to use the flat side of your hammer. I love a hammer, I must say. Any, any opportunity to hammer? <laughs> you're going to use the flat side of your hammer. And what you're doing there is just strengthening the metal mm. and flattening out the head pin and then you just need to decide how you want that to sit on your necklace so I want to make a loop backwards so I'm going to move it out of the way so that you can see what I'm doing and then I'm just going to take my round nose pliers and turn a loop backwards so that's ready for stringing on okay so if I move this in what I did was I took a piece of wire now if you want to keep your piece completely precious metal then you're going to want to use sterling silver wire um, I didn't for this because this is silver plated and it's really good wire and I'm not going to sell it I'm probably going to wear it so oh. you need to take a length that is the length of the necklace that you want to create we just move that out of the way and cut that off so is this kind of to go from collarbone to collarbone yeah, well, whatever you want. I mean, you could have just a little bit on the decolletage or you could go right the way across and not really have chain, completely mm. up to you. So you've got a design choice there. And then I'm just going to create a wrapped loop on one end by pulling my wire over the top so that I've got my loop there. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then what I usually do is just hold the loop in my pliers and bring the tail round with my fingers there's so many different ways to do this um, you just do it the way that you're used to doing it what feels comfortable to you and then I'm just going to trim off that little bit of wire and just keep hold of it because they, they like to ping off <laughs> and I'm sure no one wants a piece of wire in their eye or in their head okay so you left with that and this way is great so you can just manipulate it to make it a little bit softer or if it's got kinks in it with your fingers now what I did with mine was I put three of the gemstones on now I'm actually going to do it with a black spinel because I did it with the red so let's see what it looks like with this 
So I'm going to pop on three of these. Just let you know the um, pack that is your kit that's on screen right now that should have been £56.80, all things told, is the one that has the spinel in and those brand new gem set Labradorite head pins. Um, so that's what uh, lovely Debbie is working with at the moment in time. Grab it whilst you can. The red one's very limited, but it is at the bottom of your screen if you want that one. So I actually put three on and then I put my head pin and three more and another head pin but I also use my featherweight head pins as little accents as well so I'll show you what I did with these now what's great about these featherweight head pins and you get a hundred of these is that you can actually snip off the end and make a rosary link to make the bracelet that I was showing you earlier and you've got like a precious metal bracelet but this little ball end also makes a really nice little dangle for your necklace so I'm going to bring my block back in and with this one, you've got to be a little bit more gentle because these are featherweight head pins. And just, if you hammer the ball at the bottom, it turns the ball from a little ball into... How we make these is when we make head pins. If mm. you heat up the bottom, it balls up the metal and that makes the ball. If you hammer it, it gives you a nice little accent mm -hmm. at the bottom of the head pin. And there again, you would just manoeuvre that like you did the other one, either with your fingers, because they're quite easy. And once you've got the shape that you want, then I would hammer it flat again, just to give it strength and loop over the end. I'm going to move that out of the way so you can see what I'm doing. Loop over the end of the head pin there so that that again now becomes a component for your necklace i'll bring this back in again so it's up to you whether you want to use all of the gemstone head pins on this necklace and you would just string it on the same way as you have the beads or whether you want to use some of the featherweight and some of the gemstone ones but they just make such beautiful accents and if you just used three in your design you've still got all of those left the earrings and charms and whatever else you want to make and if I get the red one and put it down on my mat to show you all I did here was strung three on one of my head pins and actually added one of my little beads to this because I thought it looked really pretty but you could just have the silver you could just have the silver accent then two more and a featherweight head pin two more and another gem gemstone <laughs> and just carried on till it was as long as I wanted it to be so I didn't want mine to be too long so I wanted some left to do other things mm. and then I just literally added two little gemstones on the end to make the necklace now mm. I added the chain but you could add cord you know if you wanted to do, make it a little bit more funky you could put some leather on there or some faux leather you can put anything on there you want or you could continue to use your gemstones and rosary link mm -hmm. that so it's really as simple as that you've made stud earrings and a statement necklace and it's really not taking you very long at all it's incredible and it's so high-end let's just remind ourselves how much you would appro approximately sell something like that one piece for if I was at a, what I call a proper artisan craft fair, yeah, I, would, yeah. I would sell it for like £55, yeah. maybe £65, you know, with matching earrings maybe. Gorgeous. You know, because don't underestimate that you're selling something completely unique that nobody else is going to be wearing. Yeah. And it's precious metal. And, you know, to get sterling silver featherweight head pins is hard at the best of times. But yeah. to get these unique gem set ones that are brand new to us, I scoured the internet before, couldn't find anything like them. This is about as unique as unique can get. Thank you so much for sharing that with us. Now, Hi, let me just remind you, on screen right now is Moon Magic. Ooh, it's 95 <laughs> solid sterling silver. You've got 10 of those gem set head pins that have got the Labradorite in, brand new. And you've got 100 of the sterling silver featherweight head pins. You're also going to be getting a full findings pack in sterling silver. And that wonderfully dynamic, individually shining spinels. This is a kit to behold. And again, you've got a huge discount. Should have been original price, £56.80 for you now and only now. 29.95 and if you have just tuned in the 10 of these that you're getting by themselves will be 23.95 if they go onto the web by themselves so absolutely gorgeous but also a bit of a bargain so seize the moment grab your chance it's 0800 644 655 to get through to a human or join us on jewelrymaker.com
in approximately 15 minutes, I am going to be bringing to you something from the depths of the earth. Perido! This is so divine. How great would it go with my Rio Grande de Sol? <gasps> now we're talking. Mm, this is on its way. Not far off on that whatsoever. As well as that, I've got coming up for you a very special type of garnet. This garnet works brilliantly with it actually. Let me show you again. Do you know what? To be able to show spacetite garnet next to peridot and not have it outshone is incredible. I am bringing to you something so unique and something individual. Your spacetite garnet is on its way. For now though, I might be going to that next. I can't remember. We've got that coming up. Oh, and I've got, oh my gosh, I've got so much for you. That's all just in this hour. Um, okay, let me dive on in and bring to you some more sterling silver. We've got more demos coming up in the next hour as well, which is a bit of a treat. Let me bring you some sterling silver now. If you go on a well-known website whereby you can buy lots of, of different precious metals and jewelry making elements, you will find sterling silver head pins very similar to these indeed. Things you won't find though, well I couldn't find it on that website, are the rose gold plated and the gold plated versions of them. There are some elements in jewellery making which are like hen's teeth and gold plated genuine sterling silver head pins and rose gold plated sterling silver head pins are just that. Now from our research that we did earlier on, it's quite easy to find sterling silver head pins um, at, you know, for, for a decent sized pack. We are actually going to be bringing to you in one pack of the sterling silver, um, we're going to be bringing to you, let me remind myself, it's 100 of those, isn't it? And then you're getting 50 of the other two. So you're getting plenty in here. To buy yourself a pack of 12 sterling silver head pins, uh, sorry, 20 sterling silver head pins, you can be looking around the £12.50 mark, which actually would mean that for the amount you're getting here, already you're up there in price. But then remember that you've got the gold plating and the rose gold plating over the top of the other 50 in turn. This is at 25, sorry, in turn there. This is a really special opportunity. 50 of the sterling silver, 25 of the gold, 25 of the rose gold, 59.95 already. A very great deal considering the rose gold and the gold plated are like NCs to find. Taking it even better now for you now, though. You're ready for this. Do, 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 I'm bringing to you a hundred in total for £19.95. Literally, on a well-known website, you wouldn't be able to buy this amount of sterling silver headpins for the price, let alone getting for free the gold-plated and the rose gold-plated. That is such a fantastic price point. These headpins have got that lovely little dainty stopper on the end there. So, when you put on a gemstone, for example, these... Um, obsidian I've just found next to me, you cannot see that detail, it's almost like these are magically suspended, it's almost like when you go into really high-end jewellers and you can't work out how they've been created, it's because you've got elements like this, there are so many of you through for this, whilst you're all flying in, let me say, for the first time since, when did we last work together please? March, March, let me say, hi D, hi, from the Beehive! If you don't know who the Beehive are, we are called the Beehive because all of our names begin with B. I'm Becky! Nice to see you. I've got my producer, B Diddy, also Becky! Queen Bee, how are you? Look at her. Great, thanks for asking. And I've got the worker bee, it's Bruce! Say up, Bruce! We've also got in with us today our honey, it's Adam! Hello! Hi, honey, how are you? Very well. The wonderful beehive are here with you today and um, as you may know if you've been keeping your eye on social media, we've uh, taken up running. How's it going Bruce? You've had a bit of time off, how long are we talking? <laughs> a couple of weeks, right, okay. Be diddy yourself. A couple of weeks you've taken off as well. Last time I went for a run was, uh, when was it? 
It was on Friday. Uh, you know, pulled a muscle within five minutes. <laughs> getting those, getting those kilometres in. You know, jogging round the block, being overlapped by dog walkers and ladies <laughs> with prams. Uh, that's kind of my life now. Um, anyway, well done to all of you. Treat yourself. Is it getting easier? Um, I'll be honest. Since I had that skid, I fell over. Oh, I fell over. And you know when you're younger and you fall over in the playground and you graze your knees? Yeah, it was one of those. But I'm much taller and weightier than I was when I was seven. So it was a fall and skid. And yeah, grazed my elbow and my knee, got a bruise on my hip. And then, you know, you kind of jump up quick, sharp and sort of hobble off casually. <laughs> that was me. Since then, I've, I've been taking it easy. Very easy. And no, it's not really getting any easier, actually, at all. Although, other people who run told me it has. I think they're liars. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> I just think I need to do it more. I have got for you now a gemstone of chevron amethyst. And this, for me, is an absolute beautiful twist on our wonderful birthstone. I love the qualities you've got locked within this birthstone because it's got that jaunty element of the chevrons or dog tooth as the symptoms known. And they've got that wonderful beauty and luxury of, um, it's an interesting sentence this, but it's the luxury of it looks natural and is. There's something I really like about gemstones, that when you look at them, you can tell they're the real deal. You know, I'm not looking at this and thinking, oh, that's been man-made, that's been made in a lab, it's probably plastic. I know instantly when I'm looking at this that this is the real deal. And I think your friends and customers will know that too. When you're looking at this, which ones are your eyes drawn to? Are you drawn more to the deeper, richer purples, those velvet-like hues? Or maybe you're drawn to the ones that have that more lavender-esque appearance to them. Possibly, actually, for you, it's the ones that have got the really dynamic markings. So if I move that one, sort of the one in the centre there, can you see it's got that triangle of calcite that's completely natural. That one's grabbing my eye, and then I turn it over, and it's almost got this love heart there um, of, of that calcite. And then it goes into these sort of bowing waves and back around again to that triangle. It, for me, they're all talking to me kind of individually, and I love that about them. I love that these are so individual. I know that I could make, for example, my grandma, uh, who likes the lighter, paler colours, I know that I could make her a really nice ring with one of the paler ones, but also on the exact same strand, I could gift to my mom, who likes the deeper, richer colours, a ring with a really deep and intense colour, but I don't need to buy three or four different strands to appease everyone. It's character-filled, it's natural, it's yours, for six ninety-five only. Do you know what? What about with those brand new head pins that came in the kit? The brand new gemstone carved head pins that have got that sterling silver all the way around the, the section there. Just one of those, I think is going to highlight them really beautifully. Or even a stretchy bracelet. You've got any elastic at home? A lovely little stretchy bracelet with something like this. Maybe with, as Debbie showed us in the ring that she created, she used one of these as the centre of a ring. Something like that alongside it would be beautiful. Good work to you. Not long until that specified garnet. Before that, though. Ooh! I'm about to bring to you something that I think will really make you smile if you are interested in diamonds and their next door neighbours. Our world, our earth is made up in such a unique and individual way that realistically nobody truly knows what's at the very centre of our earth. One of the deepest depths that we can get to, one of the deepest depths we know about is known as the mantle of our earth. The way we always describe it, isn't it, is like an apple. If you imagine cutting into an apple and you looked at it side on, you've got the core itself then you've got the white flesh and then you've got that tiny thin layer that is the outer skin of the apple. That's not a million miles away to the ratio of our actual earth. The crust of our earth, the land that we stand on, that we farm, that we mine, that itself is very, very fine layer in comparison to the size of our earth. 
when you cut through all of that is when you get into that rich bubbling scorching mantle that magma of our earth the magma that often only escapes through kimberlite pipes into huge huge eruptions and the likes of volcanoes for example that temperature that pressure that heat no gemstone really can stand apart from the likes of diamond and this star by The intensity of that story, the movement of that magma, the kimberlite pipes which puts up so much force that the ground itself shakes. That's how these stones are delivered to our planet. That's how we are able to get stones such as this. And you may well have heard, not that long ago actually, about uh, parts of Hawaii that actually had smatterings of this stone falling from the sky. They were literally, people were going out into their gardens and there were small little platelets of peridot scattered over the lawns because of distant uh, sort of um, sea-based volcanic activity with huge amounts of gas falling up into the air carrying tiny little speckles of these that unique gemstone that unique journey is almost impossible to understand when you look at how fresh and optimistic and beautifully bright every single one of these stones are when I think of magma, when I think of all of that pressure, when I can, you know, imagine that sort of lava rushing, traveling from the mantle of our Earth all the way through the crust, taking on these treacherous trains, being pushed through these kimberlite pipes, I would imagine this stone to be dull, to be included to be so, so beaten and bashed with all of that time and pressure that actually internally there was nothing. It was void. It was dull. It was dark. But this stone has beaten all of the odds. This stone has come out of the other side of all of that and is not only bringing to you that wonderful brightness and optimism of color, but also that brightness of glow. When you look at these and you see almost that aura-like beauty that spans from the center, it is divine. This strand for me speaks for what I would hope to see in all peridot, but very rarely get. Absolutely eye clean, bristling with light in that center. That green on green quality that some of the best known collectors say is the premium location of USA. We get a lot of peridot from China. China is a location that has numerous mining regions for peridot. A lot of collectors, a lot of gemstone experts, and even the likes of gemstone cutters such as Glenn Lira will often say, that if you want true peridot greens with true peridot heart, and what I mean by that is that glow you get in the center, it's green on green, it's not sort of yellow on green like you get in some parts of China. This is green on green, luxury peridot on peridot hues. You go to the USA and that is what I'm bringing to you. I have not been lucky enough from my memory to bring you USA peridot in the last 12 months. Today, for you, we had to make it a star buy. That ferocity of glow, that luxury of color on color from that incredible location for you today, the collector's choice at 19 pounds and 95 pence for USA Peridot. If you go to the USA, you will see stores that literally will have sort of dedicated areas to this stone because it's such an important stone. It's such a, a, a unique stone. And this is the type of stone that I actually wish I had another peridot beside me that I could compare to this because it's only when you see these alongside of the peridots, it's only when you look at these through a loop, it's only when you look at these in daylight that you can see that green on green that the likes of you, um, Chinese peridot generally just does not offer to you. The fact of the matter is, this is your opportunity to grab something very special, something very unique and 
For those of you who have already checked out with this, for those of you who have already confirmed and you're happy, I'm about to make you even happier. Do you know what? It's the start of the week. This is a star by Let's Do It. For the first time from my memory in 12 months, I am bringing you USA Peridot for £12.95 for this glowing, sensational example of, to me, I clean crisp Peridot. That is so optimistic. It's so of now and the phone lines have gone wild. I don't think anyone expected us to be offering to you USA Peridot today. I don't think anyone expected us to go lower than 20, let alone by such a dramatic price. £12.95. Karen's in Mandy's in Hello, West Yorkshire. I've got, um, I want to say, uh, Ferriel? Oh, I can't pronounce that name, but it's beautiful. Hello to Stephanie. Hi, Fiona, Karen, Margaret. I've got Ingrid in. Joan, you've checked out Hey up, Mary and Jerry. I hope you're both doing all right. I've got Sue in. Nice work to you. I've got Collector in East Sussex. Well done. Karen, you've just come through. I've got Margaret. I've got Joan. I've got Dawn, Pauline. Karen again. Hello to you. A different Karen. I've got Merseysided. There's Carmarthenshire. You've just put this in your baskets. There's a few people behind you on that Carmarthenshire. I hope you're all doing well. Re, you've just checked out. Well done to you, Re. This is such a spectacular, spectacular strand. And this is so fresh, isn't it? Beautiful. I just I want to put it with rose quartz because I love like the pink and green together. Gorgeous idea. But it's just asking to be earrings and pendant drops, isn't it? Because yeah. it's just so luxurious. I think if you got the kit with all of the sterling silver in, this would be a lovely addition to that, wouldn't it? I agree with you there. That's exactly what I'm doing. I'm putting these brand <laughs> new stones. These are the brand new cut stone head pins from that kit, which by themselves are 23.95. But in the kit, you've got everything, including 100, uh, yeah, 100 featherweight head pins for 29.95, and you've got gemstones. They look so luxurious together. I'd just go wild with them. I really would just make after make after make. Speaking of going wild, there's so many of you getting these. We're gonna have to take the graphics out because that is about to sell out. Um, well done to you. That is such a boom. That really is. And dare I? I'm going to. I dare. What do you think? Yeah? Yeah. Who's already... No, I don't say that. Although we do have Christmas in July, don't we? That's got to be happening soon, hasn't it? We normally have it. Let me show you this intense red garnet. Debbie, you had garnet in your kit. Mm. How might you incorporate this into that kit, please? Well, it would just make the kit go even further, wouldn't it? So if you want to use some larger gemstones and then smaller ones either side of the large gemstone, yeah. then you're going to be able to do that. And obviously you've got then your, all of your sterling silver findings, those featherweight head pins. Oh, it's beautiful. And this, that you can see through the larger strand more. So you you're actually adding two different textures as well. Yeah. Gorgeous. It's that wonderful, rich, rambunctious red that we've got through these. This is relatively new, only been on air once before. I've definitely never seen it because, trust me, that kind of level of translucency I would have remembered. Mozambique garnet with elements of that translucency. That wow. is $7.95 for you now. It's incredible when you think that these are genuine gemstones, you know, £7.95. And um, it's incredible for real genuine gemstones of any kind, but Mozambique garnet with that level of clarity. I think it's something not to be missed, I really do. Do you know what? I um, put up on my social media stories the other day, I was reading a Sunday newspaper, which I love doing. It always buys me the Sunday paper. Saturday and Sunday, I like to treat myself. And I'll be honest, I'm a bit of a cheat when it comes to newspapers. I am not dedicated to any one newspaper. I generally will get two on each day with whatever the front cover speaks to me most. Or the pull-out magazines. Do you know what I mean? If there's like a bit of cookbook one or something about style, quite fancy that. Oh, I'm a sucker for an added extra page of puzzles as well. Anyway, um, yeah. Um, I bought two on Sunday, two on Saturday. I will have spent more than that on the Saturday and Sunday papers. Yeah. I will have done. Yeah, you will have done. And let's face it, it's, I'm sure this isn't just me. Generally, you read the headline, you move on, you know, unless it's something that grabs you. You might skim read the magazines. And then you're kind of done with them, aren't you? This is lasting beauty, completely natural garnet, £7.95 for you. 
Let's talk about the Spestatite Garnet now, if I may, which is just everything and more. I've actually got Gemma Crow coming up in a bit. She's going to be demoing with Amber. Yes, Amber. Genuine, real deal Amber. You'll um, know that I was lucky enough to be invited to go to Poland last year. I went to Gdansk with a few members of our management team and I was lucky enough to see elements like this being sourced from the water um, and went to the museum and so much more. But I, since then, have been lucky enough to probably see us do two or three amber events and only on those events would I see it in kits. I've actually got a kit with amber coming in. The reason I'm showing you this is because... I want to show it you next to this wonderful Svestatite garnet, which just sings. Can I ask you, Debbie, what does the colour of this say to you when you're looking at it? Because it's so unique. It's natural. Absolutely. I mean, that's what I love. Again, it looks like it's been plucked out of the earth. It's just like a serious treasure. Yes. You know, like if you dug for treasure, this would be in the box, wouldn't it? It's yeah, just definitely. absolutely beautiful. I love the orange colour. I just massively love orange. So I think yeah. you can put this with pearls and really dress it up or dress it down. Mm. It's beautiful. It's just divine. And if I just show you, because sometimes I think you think the colours are very similar. But look, this is the uh, Rio Grande mm. do Sol. In comparison, just look at the richness of these together. They work so beautifully. They really do. Ah, oh, Deborah, you've been... I was going to say, you've, you've just been brilliant. <laughs> You're on next in an hour. I'm back in an hour. What have you got? I've got a very specially long strand, very long. It's skippable. <laughs> <laughs> Hi Jewelry Makers, my name is Mark, I'm the Managing Director of Jewelry Maker. When we took over Jewelry Maker earlier this year, I was absolutely blown away by the incredible talent that was coming through on our Wall of Fame competition. And this is taking Wall of Fame to a whole new level. From the 1st of July, every quarter, Steve and myself are going to have a look at all of the entries on Wall of Fame, and we are going to choose the most exceptional piece and put that into production. What we will do is we will produce those pieces and if you are chosen as the winner, you will get free of charge 10 of those pieces sent through for you as a congratulations for you being that quarter's winner. I cannot wait to see the fantastic inspiration that comes in from our customers and at the end of September I'll be live on your screens announcing the winner. So please get your entries into the email address below and I will update you at a later time as to what day that will be and I look forward to seeing you all then. Thank you very much. Jewelry maker, create, wear, share. Owning a strand of genuine gemstones is always exciting, but being able to use it in your handcrafted jewellery, then passing it on to its new owner with proof of its authenticity is even more incredible. Why not add one of our printed authenticity cards to your order and share that same feeling with your customers? 
You can also access online authenticity certificates through items you've previously purchased by looking at your order history on your account details. The certificate gives you valuable information about your purchase and is your guarantee of quality and peace of mind from Jewelry Maker. Did you know that when you book a Jewelry Maker workshop, you're given exclusive access to our Jewelry Maker shop? You can browse through special items and offers, be privy to selected discounts and deals that you can't get at any other time. Shop whilst you learn and grab yourself some amazing offers. For more information on workshops and available dates, contact our call centre. It's easy to stay in touch with Jewelry Maker. You can like our Facebook page and join a community of over 68,000 people. You can follow us on Twitter and tweet us your messages and opinions, send photos of your designs and enter our Wall of Fame competition. Or if you need any help or advice, you can email our friendly help team. Make sure to get involved and stay up to date with Jewelry Maker. Are you new to jewellery making? Not sure where to start? Then tune into Jewellery Maker every Thursday at 6pm for our Get Started Hour. One of our fantastic designers will be showing you basic techniques, giving you lots of hints and tips, bringing you one of our specially designed kits for newbies and showing you step-by-step -step demonstrations to get you started on your jewellery making journey. Get started with Jewellery Maker every Thursday at 6pm. Welcome back to Jewelry Maker. It's so nice to be with you today. My name is Becky and we've had a little switcheroo with our guest designers. Now, getting ready for a bonus demo in this hour with Amber. I've got the wonderful Gemma Crow. Hello. I'm back. You're back. Gem, yep. you're one of our guests who colour really speaks to. Yes. Specidite Garnet. Yes, when you yeah. look at this colour, what does it say to you? Well, it's just, it's... It's sort of a gentle heat, isn't it? It's like, because it's sort of peachy, it's a very warm, it's not fiery necessarily, but it's, it's like a gentle glow. I completely agree with you on that. Gorgeous colour. And I think it's interesting the way you've put that because it's definitely peach. It's got those peach undertones, which I always believe you can see much better in real life. So do get this home if you want to experience Specitite Garnet, which, really is before we found you know mandarin garnet it really is one of the most rich luxurious and valuable colors that you can get in the whole of the garnet family were you lucky enough the other week to get your hands on that very special lotus flower sapphire did you get it in that stone, in that type of sapphire, when you get these wonderful peaks and troughs of orange meets peach and red, that is the kind of colour that you're getting locked within these. When we talk about that type of sapphire, that wonderful lotus flower sapphire that has that incredible quality and look, of these hues, I believe this is the closest you can get. Because when we're talking about that type of sapphire, it is one of the most expensive sapphires on the planet. But with this today, you are getting within a whisker of that. However, were I to offer you that quality of those lotus flower sapphires, I would not be able to bring you this size. This is one of the rarest, most dynamic and valuable of all garnets. And when you get this home and you experience this for yourself, you will assess every other garnet amongst this. Now this is from Tanzania. 
And again, when we're talking about Tanzanian gemstones, as a general rule, we're talking about a location which is very much sought after, very much uh, sort of upper echelons of excellence within the industry. When we talk about that alongside this type of garnet, it's almost like we're heightening our expectations at every step. You looked at the colour instantly, you knew that this was specific garnet. There is no other colour quite like this in the garnet world. And in fact, in the gemstone world, as aforementioned, it really is kind of only the uh, sapphires I was talking about before that are anywhere near this. But also, as well as that, what you're getting with something like this, with those paprasha hues, is you are getting something which again has money connotated to it. You think of Paparasha Sapphire, you think one of the most expensive gemstones in the world, again your expectations are elevated and rightly so. Then when I mention all of that to you alongside that this has got that natural beauty of colour, we really are just ticking so many boxes with this. It is a passionate and outreaching gemstone with those lotus Paparasha like hues. And to be able to bring this to you in such dynamic sizes, it's just going above and beyond all of our expectations. One of the rarest garnets on the planet, and it is a manager's special. Now, for anyone who's new who doesn't know exactly what that means, let me just say to you that it means manager special. Uh, sometimes it's something that's new in this instance it is and and we get essentially the go ahead on that time when this is behind me we get the go ahead from the managers to take this to a price point that maybe we're unable to repeat maybe we've kind of been allowed to have the go ahead to basically take a bit of a hit on take a bit of a hit in price that's what we're doing today brand new quality brand new opportunity with a stone that may well be brand new to a lot of you. Today, for this brand new exemplary stone, one of the most expensive per carat in the whole family, we are now talking only £39.95. Do your own research. Have a little look around and explore the beauty and the history of this quality because it is something which realistically, the collectors are in, that's why I'm giggling. Um, this is something that realistically, even some of the biggest jewelry houses in the world would be very, very happy to work with, especially for that quality. You know, this has got such a unique and individual hue to it. We're talking about that richness, we're talking about that exceeding expectation you know I've mentioned before this is very special indeed if you have a little look at specitite garnet and you have a little look at the kind of prices that we're talking about um, and let me just prove this to you briefly actually let me just grab my tablet if you don't mind let me just type it in specitite garnet here we go just to give you an idea da, 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 let's go on this just to give you an idea of, of some of the kind of prices that you will pair alongside this stone obviously these are all set into jewelry it's not like for like but to give you an idea first one that's coming up right here um we're looking at well 2100 pounds going down further now this is a collection well blimey <laughs> we are talking about some really highly prized stones here and yes these aren't like for like of course but they are the same name the name is only given when the hue is correct and also we're talking about something which some big name brands are more than happy to work with it's rich it's intense and it can be yours today for just 39 pounds and 95 pence i think that is sublime and it is by far and a reach the best value for quality i've ever seen us do for specific types so well done to every single one of you if you love those colors you're about to fall head over heels in love with the kit that we have given to the wonderful Gemma Crow because that richness those amber light hues are just cascading throughout this mm. Gem tell us a little bit about this kit please so we've got the most gorgeous um, cut on these amber um, sort of um, what are they uh, drops because they've got a through drill across the top and they're a marquise they're like a marquise shape mm -hmm. and they've got this gorgeous they're cut really rigid and then they're domed but the sides are really crisp crisp mm. they're, they're just gorgeous so you get three of those and then you get this lovely strand of amazonite i'm, I'm mm -hmm, assuming mm -hmm. it's amazonite um which is absolutely gorgeous little tiny faceted amazonite 
Um, and the two colours work so beautifully together. It's that it's that turquoise amber combination that you just can't beat, really. Yeah. Um, and then obviously with all the sterling silver, rose gold, uh, rose gold plated, plated. Mm -hmm. um, sterling silver. It's just total luxury, gorgeous. And that is the idyllic word for this. It is luxury. When I went last year to Gdansk and was uh, looking to spend uh, time with Marius and his brother and their wonderful team. Um, he was talking about two very well-known jewellery houses, which I'm not allowed to mention, um, but two well-known jewellery houses who had basically got in touch with him and his colleagues and said that they wanted to pair um, amber with turquoise and in some instances Sleeping Beauty turquoise because that was a trend that they are looking at putting out this year. Obviously everything's been pushed back, I don't know where that stands now, but that is something that they were looking at and that is something that they've requested from Marius because Marius actually asked our head of buying at the time, who shall I go to, have you got any contacts that we can kind of swap? Um, and the reason I'm bringing that up is because these are the hues I'm bringing to you. This is Amazonite, it's not Sleeping Beauty turquoise, but boy, when you see them together, you can understand why two of the biggest, best-known jewellery houses in the world would request these hues as a pair. They are kismet. They are together, juxtaposing, but in the most harmonious of manners. I just think they work so beautifully. Now, let me talk first and foremost about our amber. Now, this is very, very special Baltic amber. Baltic amber is highly regarded as the oldest amber on the planet. It's very regularly referred to as the oldest amber on the planet. And just as a reminder, there are lots of different types of amber. Some of them are given the name amber, even though they are less than a million years old, which Marius and many people in, in, in Poland actually believe shouldn't be the case. This is not one of those. This is genuinely, we're, we're talking millions and millions of years old here. So you've got trapped within this the opportunity to see creatures, flora and fauna that no longer exist on our planet. It's magical. Three of them today with, as Gemma said, really crisp sides and then that beautiful dome, which I think really adds to that almost molten liquid amber colour that you get in the centre, do apologise. Three of these ones you're getting with that wonderful Amazonite, which you're going to be getting 35 <coughs> carats of. That Amazonite is so intense, it could almost, you know, pass for uh, Russian Amazonite, couldn't it? Obviously it's not, it's, it's, it's slightly different tone and it is mined out essentially, but it could almost pass for that, just for that ferocity of it, it's stunning. With the luxury of the history of this stone and with the beauty and quality of saturation in this stone, I don't think it's any shock that we have gone for precious metal or that we've gone for genuine gold plating. Gold plated necklace chains like this, if you go on well-known websites, you can see the well-known crafting, let's say, websites, you will see 20 pounds marks alongside chains similar to this time and time and time again. Featherweight head pins, yep, featherweight head pins with gold plating you won't find. Well, I can't find. On the well-known websites that I go on, I've scoured them and I cannot find for the life of me featherweight gold plated head pins. These, these are a real boon then, aren't they? Yeah, they are. Yeah. You, you, I've never found them elsewhere either. No. They're, and they're, they're brilliant. I mean, they're perfect. We're always talking about bubble style. Bracelets are used in our really precious gemstones to make really sort of eye-catching um, statement pieces and this is the opportunity to do it now with all these these um, head pins, mm. especially in the gold plating, it's, you know, it is really hard to find. It's luxury atop a luxury, yeah, it, it is. is everything you could hope for and more if you want those quality elements that we very rarely see and those giftables. Before... Um, Sorry, I did not expect that price. That's did you? Great. No. In no. all honesty, I did not expect that price. I, you might think, yeah, but Becky, you do all your research before the show. We know that. And yes, it's true, I do. But my team have been on a double shift, so I actually didn't have time to prep with them before. I had no idea that we were going to this price. Not a Scooby-Doo. That, as a start price, is beyond me. I would have expected the amber and the chain together to have been about that price, not all of these head pins, which yeah. are almost impossible to price comparison because I just can't find them anywhere. 
um, let alone all of the amber and the Amazonite. That's incredible. I can't wait to see where we're going on this. The collectors are in. Collectors, you're happy with this. I had three people as, uh, check out, boom, 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 straight away. Yeah. Multi-buyers as well. <sighs> that is everything and more to me. It's that brilliant. is, it. that to me is like when I saw before on that well-known website, a chain very similar. I can't say it's exactly the same because I don't know the gram weight of that chain. Very similar chain that was around the 20 pounds mark. It was 19, was it 1995 or 1999 or one or the other. So for me, it's almost like I've purchased this and I've got the rest of this here for a fiver. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. yeah. It, or, you know, or I, I'm looking at it if, in terms of for gifts for me or gifts to give. Yeah. I've got a suite there and then the leftover bracelet for, totally. for that much money. You know, that's incredible. That's, yeah. And With one amber. Thing, an amber, Baltic <laughs> yeah. amber, historic, yeah. ancient, Baltic amber. It's incredible. And one thing I will mention too is in the previous hour, we had Debbie Kershaw and she had a kit whereby she had the sterling silver featherweight headpins and she had a hundred like we do here. And remember how she was talking about how she basically just snipped the end off and did those three or four full bracelets just using them as wire. Where can you buy, or how often do you see us do, gold-plated sterling silver wire? Mm. So you could literally recreate the bracelet that she did and the other designs that she did where these weren't used as headpins at all. They were used as if they were wire to create solid sterling silver gold-plated bracelets, even necklaces if you've got enough because the length of these is approximately four centimetres. You're getting a hundred, so I want to say that that's about four metres, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Obviously lopping the ends off a bit, but nonetheless about four metres of gold-plated sterling silver wire. I wouldn't, I wouldn't like to guess how much we would do something like that for, but say a producer said to me, we'll do four metres worth for gold plating. I mean, gosh, it's hard to get your head around. Well, we la launched sterling silver wire um, at $24.95, didn't we, when we originally started doing it. And that, I think that was for about five metres. So what, 40, 50 pounds? I probably wouldn't bat an eyelid. And that would just be for the wire. This is an incredible opportunity. So many multi-buyers in. Yes. And guess what? Because you're all fabulous and because, you know, it's Monday. Let's raise a smile. We're going to have an added bonus demo in this hour from the wonderful Gemma and from this kit. Can I just say to you now, do seize the moment because this is very popular indeed. I would probably say that 40% of my stock has gone probably, but that could be me really hedging my bets because a lot of you are multi-buying, which I'm not surprised at that price point. Just to get the chains and the amber at that price is incredible. So please do seize the moment. If you've never ordered with us before, now is your chance. Free phone number at the bottom of your screen, jewelrymaker.com. And uh, just as a reminder, actually, whilst the lovely gentleman sat beside me, do not forget each Thursday on the Late Show, we are doing beginner's selection time now. Mm. And um, if you can the 23rd. Yes. Yes. yes Good. You and I. Yes. But I love you. Becky you won't be with us, so we have to no. work out who's with us. Yes, that's true. Mm. Because uh, we're getting interactive mm. and yes. we're doing a few little added, added extras, extras, aren't we? Yeah, it's yeah. exciting. I know. Keeping it yeah. under our hats. <laughs> but that is one for the diary, definitely. Twenty-four ninety-five for you now. Well done to you all. Over fifty percent of the stock has now gone. Let's dive on into a demo. Mm. Um, Gem, these makes are just stunning. Really beautiful. Yeah, really lovely to make. And um, you know, I, I love making the bubble bracelet. That was, that's that's a firm favourite of me. I know that's the sort of thing I would love to wear. Yeah. So, um, for that I've added, I added um, a bit of my own chain from home to, to work into. But other than that, you know, all those head pins did that almost that whole strand of Amazonite. You know, which is brilliant, isn't it's it? Amazing. It really is. So yeah, so what, what I'm going to show you is creating how the, the technique I've used to, to do the drops for the earrings and the necklace. Beautiful. And then putting it onto the chain. So really, really simple. Um, so I've got my lovely chain here. I'll need two head pins. So two of the head pins. One of my little uh, Marquise Ambers and one of my Amazonite. So that's all, all you need for each, each drop. So what I'm going to do is take my head pins um, and I'm going to put them either direction through the top of the drill hole. Okay. Okay. So one through one way and do it at the same time because 
um, if I some of the the head some of the drill holes are, qu are quite large actually for the for the amber. amber. So it means that you can actually use your thicker cords. You can thread it onto the chain um, if you want to straight onto the chain, which looks really That's sweet. Lovely. But um, so make sure you put them both through at the same time so that they don't pull straight through. So they, it sort of decreases the hole size when you put one through. So get them both through and then pull them in. So you've got that lovely little, the little detail of the end of the head pin, either side of the, either side of the amber. Mm. Okay, so once you've got that, all you're going to do then is pull these wires up. So just take each one, pull them up and let them cross over at the tip of that marquee shape. And then what I do to twist them together to get a nice even twist, I push my finger into, the, into where it crosses and then hold either side. So you can see I'm, I've got the, the wires sort of sandwiched between three of my fingers like that. Mm -hmm. Okay, and then hold really firmly and just twist. Okay, so I'm going to just do two twists like that. Now if I've got two twists, I'm going to tighten that twist up. We don't want the twist to be any longer because we don't want it to poke out from the, the bead. So I'm going to hold um, the twist at the top and then just give it another twist whilst it's in the pliers, just to tighten the twist up, but without elongating it. Okay. And then what I'm going to do is just chop off one of the wires. So be careful you don't chop both. Just chop one off and then put the other one straight up like that. And then we're going to take our Amazonite and pop it over and just give it a twizzle so it goes down, almost screws down onto that twist. Okay? <clears throat> That's it. Then hold with the tip of your pliers at the top of that Amazonite and just push I push the wire forward like that and then make a little loop so I'm going to hold on to that wire go around my pliers and bring the wire to the front okay so we've got a sort of a loose loop there and then I'm going to hook that onto the chain so before I before I wrap that loop around I'm going to pop it onto the chain okay so it's on the chain now, and then very carefully, because we don't want to pinch the chain or distort that loop, I'm just going to hold across the loop so that it doesn't distort when I wrap, and then take that wire around the neck of that wire there. Take it round and round until it sits really snugly on top of that Amazonite. Keep pushing it round. You can do it with your fingers because the wire is so lovely and malleable. So you push it around with your fingers as far as you can go. And if you need to, you can just pinch it with your pliers to settle it in as closely as you can. And then the tiny, tiny bit that you've got hanging off that doesn't quite go into that, that swirl, you just nip off with your pliers. And that's it. That's your pendant on your chain, ready to wear. So, so simple and just very effective. That's it. Where would you see that being sold? Um, I think this is quite a high street piece actually. This is the sort of thing that you see on the high street. It's very commercial. It's, it's those colours that are, that are in. You know, yep. This is a very popular combination. Um, I think you would see it in your boutiques. Like there's, a, there's a certain boutique in Gloucester, like Boutique Jewellers or Antique Jewellers that sells a lot of amber. Um, and this is the sort of thing you might see in there for around the £60, £70 pounds mark. Mm. Because I used to go in there to buy my mum's amber, mm. but I but I think you could see this sort of thing on the high street, you know, yeah. sort of around the forty pounds mark on the high street because it's so commercial. Yeah, you know, it's it's you know it's the sort of thing that everybody can wear. It's you know it's not a niche, is it? No, saleable, wearable, yeah. and um, at that price point, yeah, affordable as Very well. Much, yeah. Twenty four ninety five for your Moroccan sunset. I've just got to quickly dash through the info of this again because if I said we had seventy percent of our stock left, am I being crazy optimistic, B Diddy? I'm being put about right. Pretty much there. About seventy percent of the stock of this is gone. Um, have a little nosy again. Solid sterling silver, gold plated chain found very similar, not the same, but very similar, £20 on a well-known website, which for me means I'm getting 100 sterling silver gold-plated featherweight head pins, which with my research of scouring the internet, I couldn't find anything like them. And 
orange you're getting, three, genuine Baltic amber that absolutely glows and gleams, individually hand-carved, mm. so that the light undulates within them and gives you that almost sort of molten amber feel. And I'm bringing to you the Amazonite with such richness and rambunctiousness that you might be forgiven to thinking it's treated, but it's not. I would be bringing you that, that, and that for a fiver. Which is probably why there's so many people who have multi-bought on this mm. and there most certainly is. Amber is one of those things that you may well have noticed we've not had a lot of lately and it's one of those things that it kind of comes and goes and I will always say seize the moment and grab it whilst you can because remember amber itself is not continually being made, it's not continually growing, it's not like quartz you know that continues to grow. Every single piece of this that is taken from our oceans or, or mined every single piece means that there is one less piece to own so it's a real special special treasure to be able to get it today at 24.95 all of that this is my kit i'm gonna grab this this is a have to I'm loving gold at the minute anyway, mm. but I'm going to have to. Well done, every single one of you. Closer to 80% of our stock has now gone. That price discount is incredible. So a huge well done to every single one of you. I, I need that. I shall call in the break. Let me move on. Just leave that there for a second. Let me move on now. Ooh. I am currently... so. I travel a fair old bit. I live in Cheshire and I travel a fair well bit. The hotels and stuff around here aren't, aren't open at the moment, so I've been travelling up and down each day. And I love an audiobook because I drive a lot. I love an audiobook. I'm currently on The Chronicles of Narnia. Mm -hmm. I've boxed off the first one, which was called The Magician's Nephew, which I've never even heard of. It was magical. I'm now on The Lion, the Witch, and the Wardrobe. And I've just gone to that section, in, and I, I don't want to plot spoil this in case there's any young people watching, but I've just got to that section in The Lion, the Witch and the Wardrobe, which is quite harrowing. You know the bit I mean? And the bit where Aslan's kind of walking up the hill, you know the bit I mean? I've just gotten to that section, and in fact, this just goes to prove what an absolute wuss I am. I was listening to that section in the car, and I was about three minutes away from work, and I was like, if I start listening to this, I'm going to be part way through, and I'm just going to get out, and I'm going to be dead sad. So I paused it just before, like, oh no, don't get to the sad bit. And uh, yeah, then listen to some upbeat 90s music. But yeah, the reason I'm bringing this up is because as I'm looking at this stone, these colours, this texture, it almost reminds me of as Aslan is uh, sort of described within this. Whenever Aslan is spoken about, which is this huge, beautiful lion, it's always speaking about colour and it's always speaking about gold and it always speaks about strength and it talks about how when people see his mane it almost seems to glow and it talks about kind of light and metallics emitting from this powerful beautiful beast and that's exactly what these have just made me think of. It feels powerful, it feels strong and, and it feels almost much like an animal, much like a beast. It almost feels alive and of its of life because it's textured and it's got all of this texture and it feels like it's you can almost feel its growth you can almost feel how this has been formed you can almost sense when you're looking at this these attempts of these almost stalactites and stalagmites of the quartz just fighting to get from that host rock to give you this gleaming beauty it feels strong it feels dynamic and to be honest it feels a bit magical I'm bringing to you that rose gold coloring atop of these genuine quartz Druzies, and I've got for you 170 carats worth of this powerful, vibrant, almost, as I say, sort of magical stone. It feels lively, it feels enticing, and for you today, I'm going to be bringing to you approximately two, four, six, eight stones for you to share that story, share that strength for just seven pounds and 95 pence. So we're looking at around about a pound per stone on this, and you know, I am looking at these, and instantly my mind goes pendant, but. With all of that in mind, of the books that I'm listening to at the moment, I'm thinking of different things. I'm thinking maybe of bookmarks, you know, doing sort of a wire design and having this as the thing that rotates over that page. I'm thinking of the movement of this and the life of this. And I'm thinking about shibori, almost sort of nestling the sides with shibori so that you just get this almost actually lion eye kind of effect. I'm bringing to you something so unique and so different and it does feel kind of magical. I think you're going to have a lot of fun with these. That raw stone is around the size and you can colour that, you can put 
I'm almost imagining bare copper weave around that would look beautiful maybe even oxidized but yeah you can hide that section if you want to but if you love the story of the stone and you like to almost see you know the sections of its growth then just leave that to sing for itself seven pounds and 95 pence well done you know what let's keep it super simple if you love mixed metals let's just keep it super simple obviously the stones itself aren't metal but they've got that rose gold appearance just one Jobs are good in. Yeah, and you can probably thread. I, I don't know about the drill hole on those, but I should. Have a look. I'm loving the gems just threaded yeah. straight onto the chain at the moment. They look so good. Yeah. You could probably do that. It's effortless, isn't it? That yeah. kind of look. Yeah. Well done on the druzy. Let me bring you some sterling silver now, if I may. Um, hang on. Give me two ticks. Yes. Oh no, those are the wrong ones. <laughs> hang on. I just wanted to see if you could get yeah. a featherweight head pin through here. I'm almost positive that you can because I've got two eyes that say to me you can but I like to check. Yeah easy peasy lemon squeezy. Those go through absolutely easy peasily and um, well, obviously we've got the gold plated ones from this kit. I did some silver plate, silver solid stone silver ones earlier on but you could really bejewel this chain and that's why I like sometimes I think we have chains that our necklaces and what I mean by that is they are almost just ready to be worn as they are because they're very glit they're very glam maybe they're quite bold with something like this this to me is like a blank canvas chain I'm looking at this and thinking I could just do one pendant and that'd be pretty but actually with the versatility of those links as open as they are I don't want to I want to do like a bubble style design yeah. like you have with that yeah. bracelet yeah you could you could I mean you can get your head pins into them and because the chains are so nicely close together you would literally use each link rather than, like, with a bigger chain, you have to put two items per link, which can sometimes be a bit fiddly. Yeah. So it's actually probably easier with a smaller link. Yeah. So you could, say, for example, with the ones from your kit, because actually mm. the sil this is so strong, it goes really nicely with the gold and the silver. Yeah, you yeah. could literally do, like, a bubble-style design with this, just using each link. You've got um, the cable chain, and it's an 18-inch necklace for four pounds and ninety-five pence. That's it, four pounds ninety-five pence for that 18-inch chain, and it's so luxurious in its look. It is completely finished with that lovely clasp detail as well. And today it is just four pounds and ninety-five pence. I was blown away when we were doing them for twelve ninety-five on air. Four pounds ninety-five is astonishing. It's a great little stash top wrapper. Well done. I've got, oh, blimey, they're beautiful. Rose gold. Rose gold, anyone? Who's still into it? Yeah. yeah. What have you got there? Stud earrings. With the loops on the bottom so you can add. But these are big. Have a little nosy. Solid sterling silver with rose gold. I've not seen us oh, do yeah. these. They're beautiful, yeah, aren't they? Yeah, no, they're lovely. I, lo I like these stud um, earrings, but I do like that, the bigger um, sort of stud section on it rather than the tiny ones, because mm. it sort of feels like the piece is finished, so whatever you put on the bottom, it feels finished by that sort of full stop at the top. I know what you mean. You yeah, it I mean? really ends it. Yeah, yeah. Actually, I mean, these might be a bit big and bold for some, and I do understand that, but... Oh, ooh la la. That's mm. nice. That's an idea, isn't it? Yeah. I am bringing to you now uh, 10 pairs of these ones. And when we talk about stud earrings, again, these ones are rose gold plated. So when we're bringing a plating, I think it's quite easy to almost ignore the process. I think a lot of the time we talk about the luxury of the sterling silver and then the luxury of the red gold or the rose gold. Um, but maybe we don't always talk about the process process of plating is really really complex people who do uh, you know who do have the skills often to to do plating themselves will be working with you know really expensive and quite dangerous chemicals you know a lot of people who maybe want to get pieces plated will, will have them you know send them off to, to get plated because it's just it it's real fact to be able to try and do it yourself so although it's not impossible it is something very time consuming, very costly, that you need a massive amount of different equipment, etc. So yes, you as a jewelry maker could do it yourself at home, but actually, when we do big bold pieces like this that are so versatile, so simple, and so beautiful, 
and they only cost $16.95 for 10 pairs, which is approximately £1.70 per pair, there really isn't much point in doing it yourself. There really isn't. They are very popular indeed. I don't have a huge amount of those. Those are another one I need to treat myself to. Another. Well done indeed. Um, I've got more to bring. Say it again, Poppy Chops. <laughs> Well, I never. Hey, times have changed, eh? I used to always talk about this stone, but I do it in a super cash way. Um, <laughs> because we'd have gems, we'd have this gemstone, and if it was in a certain colour, I'd go, oh, it, it almost looks like aquaprase. Obviously, it's not aquaprase because that is a um, name taken on uh, by, by someone else, and I'd sort of skim around it, and I'd talk about aquaprase, and I'd talk about the prices of aquaprase that you could get when they're set into jewellery, and aquaprase this, and aquaprase that. Constantly saying, but this isn't aquaprase. This isn't aquaprase at all. But now it is. Have a little look. Oh, come back. I spent all that time trying to pick you up. Get back here. This is a stunning stone. And as I mentioned, this name is trademarked. So there are very few places that you can purchase this stone with this actual name. Aquaprase itself so named because of that glow underneath the surface. And let me just place this against black. I think you can actually see the glow a little bit better. That glow that emits is why this stone was so popular when it was originally found and it is relatively recent find and um, when we're talking about that glow that natural beauty that natural ability to shine that is one of the things that originally uh, took the founder of this is breath away now to be given that name of that phrase it needs to be of very very special high-end qualities and um that is exactly, and it has to also have a, special, a certain origin, which in this case is Africa. This glow, this quality is next level, and it is something which is, the colour itself, from my memory, had to be described, I'm almost sure this was the terminology that he used to use, um, like turquoise clouds, I'm almost sure, that's the colour that it has to be, it has to be like turquoise clouds. And I think when you look at this, that is exactly what you're getting your hands on. You have to be in the know and friends with the um, with with Yanni to be able to. I'm sure you have, have we had Yanni on air before. Well, maybe not. But basically, um, I'm sure you, a lot of you will know him. He's very big in the industry and. Um, yeah, he essentially is the person who discovered and named this gemstone. You have to be friends with him to be able to use that trademark name and to be able to get this quality. And that is exactly what we've got on screen. These are about to sell out. They are £9.95. It's gone. Well done to you. That is so special. And um, I'm chuffed as peas for you. I really am. I love that. I just think it's so pretty. It's gorgeous. It really is. Let me bring you somewhere else, shall I? Aww. Aww. Mother Nature's just ace. <laughs> Isn't she? Mm. Oh. I've only got 11 of these. And I, oh, it's got a drill hole! Well, you're having me on. Well, I never knew. <laughs> um, when you were younger, did you ever used to go, uh, like, gill scrambling? Did you? I don't know if you know what gill scrambling is. Gill scrambling is basically you go in a very shallow river that's generally going uphill and you kind of scramble along it and you find all of these areas and it's really, really shallow areas. But I grew up in the Lake District. This is something we used to do with a saptic. And uh, there's sort of rushing water and you'd see these stones that were literally smoothed down to pebbles and they always, when the sun was glistening, they would shine. And I don't know how to describe it, but they would glow and they would glisten. And you'd grab in and you'd take them out and then if it was sunny, within seconds, they looked less. They weren't shiny anymore. They looked kind of dull. As once before underneath the water, they looked perfectly smooth and glistening. You take them out and it's like the water had evaporated instantly. Obviously that's not what happened, but that's what it looked like. And it would just look like something kind of, oh, that's not as exciting. So you'd put it back. That's what this reminds me of. This is the stone when you've taken it out of the water. And this is the stone as it glistens underneath. I think this is just a feeling of magic and this is a geode. So this is a stone which will have formed, this will be half of it for example, um, it will have formed as a hole 
and then literally will have excavated that out of the ground, which, by the way, is tricky within itself. It's not just a case of, oh, look, there's a geode. Let's just grab it. You have to really excavate it out very, very carefully from the raw rock between it. Then we slice through it to unlock the treasures. Top drilled, 85 carats worth for you today. £4.95 pence for that one. I can't believe that. I think that's magical. And every single one will be different. Every single one will be different. Now, there will be a twin to this, in essence. The one that, when you cut it apart, mm. there'll be two sides. And this one's got, like, a little love heart in it, I've just realised. But there will be a twin to this. I mean, it would be completely and absolutely ram random, but who knows? You you might purchase four of these, and you might actually get two that are the same or two halves of the same stone, which could be kind of magical. Look at that lovely heart, it's beautiful. It's lovely, isn't it? Four pounds ninety five. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I'm giggling because um, Bruce is saying it's a bit like what was that called? Surprise, surprise. Yeah. <laughs> You, you spent 12 and a half thousand years together and you've not seen your geode half since then. Well, surprise, surprise. I love that idea. Hey, it could happen. You don't know. Could. Could. Who was that? Was that still a black? Surprise, surprise. Oh, love it. Anyway, let me bring you some more treasures. Let's go from the depths of our earth to the open skies of our skies. <laughs> I'm bringing to you your Swiss blue topaz. So, for those of you who don't know, we bring you different uh, hues of topaz. White topaz, I'd say, is probably the most common, and then you get different blues. Swiss blue itself is so-called Swiss blue because it is said to reflect the colours that you will see in the likes of the Swiss Alps. So when you're walking around the Swiss Alps and you look up at some of the highest mountain ranges that will be um, snow peaked, what can happen is the light and the colour from the sky reflects onto those snowy white peaks and almost makes them appear blue. And that's what this is said to be named after, a beautiful clear sky day with that reflection on that white of snow. And I think when you think about clear, beautiful skies, you do think about possibly that um, kind of uninterrupted light, let's say. You don't think about, you know, clouds in the sky. You think about just pure, bright, even sunlight. And that's almost what these have got within them. 28 carats worth I've got in there. And this Swiss blue isn't quite like any other blue. What do you like about this stone gem? But I love the colour and always with topaz you get that beautiful clarity, don't you? They're so crisp and clean and fresh. Yeah. You always feel like you could breathe fresh air if you're around them, don't you? So but, true. That, you know, they're just gorgeous. And I think just, just perfect in the drop shape because they're great for little drop earrings. Yeah. They're, they're just beautiful, aren't they? Literally, with the strength and the quality of these, as you've mentioned, just one in each ear, it is going mm. to sing. Absolutely sing. It is a luxury strand, it is a rarity of a strand. I'm bringing you 28 carats worth today, and it should be priced $79.95. We are live on air. We're going to give you every pound and penny we can off at this moment in time. So, not 80 pounds, not 70 pounds, but for you today, we're going to be doing 28 carats worth for £59.95. I'm just looking at it alongside the chain and thinking of popping one onto that. Similarly to how Gem showed us before how to use the top drill amber from that kit, do the similar technique mm -hmm. with something like this and just have one suspended. It's just going to absolutely sing. That chain is still available. It was $4.95 in solid sterling silver. If you want it, um, call the number or join us on jewelrymaker.com. £59.95 for you. I've now got 19 of these ones available. <clears throat> Excuse me, have a swig of me brew, two ticks. Also great for um, something blue for the wedding, isn't it? You know, imagine those in a tiara or just sort of cascading through. Lovely, you know, sort of down do. That's a lovely. beautiful idea. Mm. Oh, yeah, gorgeous idea. Well done to you all. Oh, it's lovely. Okay, I've got to move on. And it's tourmaline. Oh, cubes! Did I just whistle then? Oh my gosh, I've never done that in my oh. life. Cubes, cubes, cubes. I'm going to practice that in the break. <laughs> oh my gosh, that's so exciting. I love when I learn new things. Um, <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. 
<laughs> well, that, well, that's, I'm going to text me all about that later. She'll be dead impressed. Anyway, um, I'm going to bring to you uh, tourmaline faceted cubes. Oh, I can't do it. Um, what is good about <laughs> us working with different shapes such as these? Well, like, for example, the bubble bracelet, if you did it with a cube, it gives it a very different sort of feel. It's much mm. more edgy and quite literally there's more edges so it is the more edgy you know and they yeah. fall different they cluster different they tessellate differently so it's always going to add a little bit more interest yeah. i think so yeah and twisted together like that again you get that very different that more of a helix look than when you twist rounds together so they just work really well it looks so so nice um just as we say twisted but i do love the idea if you're doing it in the bubble style as you mm. as you mentioned i think that would just look divine for me a different shape does mean that it kind of pushes me out of my comfort zone although maybe not too much with these because i would almost use them as i would a normal round it's yeah. not like when you get some really quirky shapes and you have to almost you know treat them differently with this i don't think you you do have to treat them differently so actually maybe this is good for someone who's relatively new maybe just worked with rounds at the moment and you want a bit of a different feeling but you don't want to have to learn a whole new skill set of techniques because you're still just getting your teeth into it this could be a really really nice one for you we're bringing to you 55 carats worth of your tourmaline 34 pounds and 95 pence or is it We've got the beehive in with us today and our queen bee, Bee Diddy, wants to give you a little bit of an extra treat. £12.95 pence today for 55 carats worth of your tourmaline. Tourmaline is one of the most complex um, structures out there and I know that that might sound very boring to some and I, I, you know, I do get that but let's just remember when you've got say a one or two ingredient gemstone let's say for example uh, you know fluorite is two ingredients in that stone diamond that's only one ingredient it's amazing when you get a list of ingredients that have to be there at the right time the right pressure in the right amount for the right you know it, it's so complex and that's one of the reasons it's so rare speaking of rare it's sold out but well done if you've got it okay um ooh. wow that's yeah i i know this strand uh, it's amazing i think i think that might be we may have had that on a birthday was that a birthday strand it speaks it's to me just, that it might be the quality i mean yeah that's it. It's it's superb, isn't it? Mm. Santa Maria Aquamarine. The colours are insane for, for aquamarine. Like it just sings. It just speaks. It just mm. sings. It's... Hmm, how do I put it? It's almost got more energy. Sometimes I can find aquamarine to be quite sleepy. Do you know what I mean? Mm. Sometimes I look at aquamarine and it's almost past the point of karmic. It's always past the point of calm. You know that there's, there's that moment, for example, when you're on holiday and you sat maybe by the pool or you're looking out on the beach or whatever and there's not that many people around and that light of sort of the sunlight glistening on that beautiful blue sea, it's so calming, yeah? That's how I feel about this strand. In comparison to a lot of strands of aquamarine that to me just feel a little bit sleepy maybe maybe dozing maybe not as energized mm. as looking out at the ocean and the waves lapping in the light dancing and pirouetting on top and that sunlight moving presto over each of the peaks that's what this makes me feel like it is restful but energized and to be able to bring to you this location with those multi tonal layers i just think is spectacular we are bringing to you totally natural santa maria aquamarine at a incredibly competitive start price but that is the start price we are going to go lower because we're live on air think about the work of collecting these think about the rarity of getting these but also think about you know even just small thing think about getting them and grading them perfectly opposite each other oh someone's having a strop uh, perfectly opposite each other there you go to give you that look and beautiful effect i'm bringing to you 129.95 
usually we're live on air we want to give you a discount deal so now is our chance seize the moment i'd start dialing now if you're a telephone bidder like me 0800 644 655 press option one to get it now for just 69 pounds and 95 pence for me who Last time I brought you a Santa Maria Aquamarine from my memory, it was that £350 brand, which was lovely. For me, with this, I personally find this a bit more interesting because it's got those darker, deeper shades, and I'm sure it's got a fair larger amount of car um, carat weight as well. £69.95, that is so low in stock. A big good luck to you because that is going, going, gone. I brought you rose gold studded earrings earlier on. I'm now going to bring you one of the biggest fashion trends of 2020 the statement earring the statement whoop earring that is completely what i've got for you here i really appreciate these earrings because for me i'm looking at this in a fashion way i know that i could grab these for my friends and uh, pretty much every friend i can name will wear these just as simply as they are but also it speaks to the sort of crafting part of my mind and I'm instantly going right well what I could dead easy do is add on some little drops of gemstones here I know they're not going to rock off the back because they've got that stopper I'm also looking at that stopper and I'm seeing that as a canvas point I could glue a gemstone onto that mm -hmm. pretty easily I could maybe add a little bit of serolin onto that actually and sort of house that inside if that makes sense and then bejewel that section so that you could see it because obviously my lobe's going to sit here you know so you're going to be able to see that even from the front i think these are beautiful and i have to say they feel very very solid indeed when i'm trying to move these i can tell instantly these are not electroplated electroplating is done so often um, especially with big designs like this because it makes them less costly to make you don't have to put as much precious metal in them these to me feel so solid i'm putting a serious amount of force on them and it's going nowhere so it's that luxury it's that weight it's that sturdiness you've got four grams here of precious metal and today you're looking at just 12 pounds and 95 pair for these big big beautiful hoops with that stud ending what do you like about these ones Jen? yeah i love them like you said there's so many ideas you can have with them I'm just thinking about seed beading you know d doing it like um what's the weave it's so you make a tube a right angle weave yes um or peyote with a twist yeah you could do a sleeve to go on them that you could interchange which would be amazing if you love your seed beading okay well that's a ridiculously good idea yeah i love could that work, couldn't it and just oh. and just having like i don't like to change my earrings i've kept these in for weeks and weeks i don't like to change them no and um, these would be great because i could just put on new a new dangle to match whatever I'm wearing. Whatever you're wearing, whatever you've got on. Yeah, that's a great idea. Like really like those. They're so... That's, I love that idea with the seed beads. Mm. Oh, it's fab. Um, let me bring you some more treats. Let's go for some rose quartz now. Now, I can't remember. Have I got the Labradorite ones in my ears? Yes. I have Anta. Um, I've got these lovely Labradorite earrings in, funnily enough, my ears. Uh, but we did a rose gold version of these earlier mm. on. These were in uh, the kit. These are head pins. That are literally, they? yeah, they're head pins. Brand new gem set head pins from Debbie's kit before. Okay. Um, but we did a rose gold version. I'm imagining those with something like this hanging from it. Just one of the smallest ones off the end, just to give a little extra je ne sais quoi. We're bringing to you rose quartz now. And these are really edgy rose quartzes yet again, aren't mm, they? They're lovely, they're a really lovely colour. Yeah. The Madagascan, yeah. 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 Mm. Interesting that you instantly go, the colour uh, must be Madagascan. Yeah, the camera's right over that bit of the screen, but yeah, I, that, that colour. I, to, to be honest, I wasn't in love with rose quartz until Madagascan rose quartz, we started to get that in. And then I can really feel the vibe that everybody else feels from yeah. them because they're, they're really... They're different, yeah, aren't they? Yeah, yeah they, they resonate differently. Yeah, the definitely. The colour's really... Not intense because it's so soft. But, you know, it's, it, it catches you, doesn't it, that Definitely. lovely colour? It's a beautiful quality. I've got 165 carats at 12.95. TP, are you 87? Is your code on this one today if you want to grab it? TP, are you 87? You can call, uh, type that into the web or put it uh, to the call centre and they'll add one of them to your basket. I'm bringing now, oh, a strand that Gemma Crow I think will like. Oh, yeah. Jasper's. Huh. Yeah. Ocean Jasper. So 
just a wonderful palette, isn't it? Even yeah. if you just use that palette as inspiration for a project or for a room makeover or for anything, that, that palette's just so inspiring. I think that sometimes with strands like this, Mother Nature almost takes what we expect and then takes us on. Mm. So if someone said to me, you know, all right, Bex, we're going to uh, paint your living room and we're going to be getting greens and reds and whites and purples and sort of, um, <laughs> uh, you know, uh, terracotta colours in with yellows and creams, I think, um, pardon? But actually, <laughs> looking at them on this stone, Mother Nature just goes, look how harmonious they are in together. Yeah. And it is a harmony. It is, yeah. Yeah, they, they, it's just lovely. And, and, and always, I always look to things like this for, for my colour combinations mm. because it's there, right there for you. Yeah. You know, Mother Nature put it together. Yeah. It's just gorgeous. To be able to get those natural collars in such big sizes, £7.95, I think it's mind-boggling because you're getting plenty on here, you know. I'll do a quick bit of maths. Well, B. Diddy will, we'll produce a two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. Sixteen at halfway point. So 32. So how much is that per stone? Seven ninety-five divided by 32. We're looking... 25 pence each. These are focal stones. That's not bad, is it? These are head turning <laughs> yeah. focal stones for I 25 mean, pence each. It's a statement necklace for 7.95, you know. Yeah. It's just yeah. daft, really. Uh, it's just an incredible strand, it really is, and it's seven pounds and ninety-five pence. Gemma, thank you so much for working thank you for me back. with this incredible kit. Thanks for having me back. I love that. <laughs> when are you next back? Are we letting you back again? Yeah, it's a whole week until I'm back. So twentieth, so Gosh. next Monday. So you're in on the twentieth, and then mm. we're on on the twenty-third. Yes, I'm in. I'm in four days next week. So. Blimey. Not all shows, but yeah. Yeah. Um, so lovely, Gemma will be back with us then. And as I said before, it's the 23rd, the evening. Well, all day, obviously, watch. But um, the 23rd in the evening, we're going to be doing something a little bit different, and we want you to be part of the show. But we'll let you know more about that later mm -hmm. on, close to the time. Gemma, you're a love. Thank you again so much. Thank you. Now, I am heading on off. But don't worry, I'm going to be back with you soon with all of these treasures. Straight after the break, you've got the gorgeous Jenny Cleary and Debbie Kershaw. Don't go anywhere, they'll see you.